guys welcome to lpq trades good morning if you're here say hello i want to make sure you're here and good morning first things off we uh keep your uh keep mr richie in your prayers he's going to be here this morning when he said feeling a little sick <clears throat> so definitely hoping he's getting better and spoke to him this morning and just feeling a little sick but he doesn't stop so <clears throat> he should be here um then uh again we have news today at 8 30. you have your uh eight i think i hear him hold on richie you there oh okay maybe not hold on let me uh make sure that i'm not i've got stuff going on all over here hold on okay um where was i you got news this morning guys as you see on the screen main screen there unemployment claims 8 30. so we are going to wait till then you have some levels here on es all the blue lines are your level so today <clears throat> i'm doing five things at the time here at a time so we got to watch for news so we're going to stay muted till news of course guys um and we'll see what we get from there. Um, the night session sold off. Just really sold off. It stayed within range, but it sold off early this morning. <clears throat> Back down and made a new uh, new, uh, new low. Went all the way down to 44, already 43.25. We're just a day gap down there. Okay. That's a big daily gap down here. <clears throat> if you go to your day take off all this you will see here this big gap right here just encroaching into it now see there's no candle next to this big candle here push up that's where it's encroaching just a little bit went in it see that see what i'm saying but when i paint this up you're gonna see a bunch of stuff just come up i got it all painted but you put it on the bigger time frame on a smaller time frame that is and you can see very clear what's happening <clears throat> at the moment the market's flat is <clears throat> waiting for unemployment claims and we'll go from there guys uh yes it looks like the one's at 46.25 downstairs if you look at mr todd's charts it will be coming up here in a second you can see we place a dome you uh, value area dome next to our order flow. You will see that very shortly here. <clears throat> and we will go from there. Good morning. <clears throat> um, again, we are doing news this morning on employment claims and uh, 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 non farm. Okay, so 815 on farm and then unemployment here. So so we're going to wait, guys. The market, like I said, it was up a minute and it sold off to came back down to a reality here to be completely flat for the news. So whichever way it goes, guys, we'll give you some trades. Okay, today was uh, this week was littered with news. This is uh, Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow, another big, big, big day. So. You know, we'll go from there. Historically, the first day of the year, it's a sell-off day. And then next days after that tends to rally, right? Not this year. They were expecting a, what they call a Grinch on December, meaning the market to come down a bit, you know, um, to uh, uh, 40, 4,600, I think, 4,650, around that area to, to get uh, some, tra some trades to the end of the year. We didn't get that. So <clears throat> some analysts say historically when that doesn't happen, the market starts taking a hit, and that's exactly what it's doing. So it's just something that happens for historically, right, just something to kind of keep in mind. Not, not that it's going to mimic anything in the past, but, hey, keeps happening over and over you got to pay attention to that that's exactly what it's doing I'm drinking my Sanka drinking my Sanka here <clears throat> let me 
write a text really quick to someone that wants to come in the room here. We're going to have a visitor today come in. Uh, next tab over, you got your uh, ES. This is order flow. This is um, amazing software that we have to be able to view the markets. And it tells you big orders coming in to buy and sell in the market. The yellows means uh, you got short orders coming in. Look at the Dow falter. There it goes. There it goes, guys. It's, it's faltering. You see that? That was the 89, 89 call. Uh, you got here order flow on the NASDAQ. See all those reds, everybody coming into short. And you got S&P here. I, I mean the Dow. You got ES, NQ, and YM. Okay? So those three right there will show you this is the, just the main chart that I'm on. Okay, you need to take some profit here if you took that trade. You can take some profit, take a little bit off. Okay, that was a good 89 call. To go. You got about 10, 20 handles on that call from 89. Just in case we got some news, guys. So you want to go ahead and take some profit. Said, Antonio, if you have any questions, you can place them on that chat. Okay. If you have any questions. We want to make sure that we're good. So if you're seeing the Dow, right, you saw the NASDAQ take a hit and you saw ES take a hit. Okay. This market may, may go to the downside. If the economy is better, the news came out yesterday that the Fed is going to not touch the rates to the end of the year again. The market didn't like that. Um, and, um, so the market starts looking at that a little more negative, believe it or not. That was a good short. Three, four handles. ES, that was beautiful. So I start to paint my chart and I'll start explain. I'll start to explain. And Tony, I'm not sure. Were you here when I explained all the colors and things like that? I'm not sure if you wanna, if you wanna tell me yes, no, I can go over it again. Okay, cool. Thank you, Antonio. Not nice to have you here. Um First, we have different time frames. We have the one minute on the right here. I've got the 15 on the left. I don't look at the five too much. Um, I do look at the daily. This is how the daily looks, right? Without anything. In me, I can tell that there's gaps here, meaning what, what what's a gap? If you see, you may know this, but if you see, well, there's not price around a candle. See this wick? post wick meaning the one before the body and the one after i'll put for me yellow this is a day gap and a yellow one here see this a big gap definitely here so i'll put a color there if i go like this you see the litter with colors but let me tell you why it looks crazy like that but if you do this here on the 15 Here's my gap down here. Why do I mark these gaps? Well, the market tends to come into these areas to price, meaning it's a magnet for price action to come and price this in. Algorithms, that's what they do. They search for stops, also search for gaps. It already this morning went into it pretty deep. The low this morning was 43.25 on ES, which is the S&P mini, ES mini contracts. Um, it tends to gravitate to these areas, okay? Um, order blocks, OB, are areas where there's liquidity sitting there, meaning money sitting there either to buy or to sell these areas. And if you see at night, it hit all these areas pretty much straight on. This will continue from day to day. You just bring them over, stop where it's, you know, it's stopped and new areas come up and we can show you how to do that. It takes a minute to learn some of the stuff, but once you do, you're going to be good. The good thing about being in the room with us is that as you're learning, you're, you know, you could be making some good money, you know, so, you know, you're going to have your down days. You're going to have your up days. At first, we ask all our members to a paper trade just to get used to either the software or get used to just trading the futures market if you've never done that before. 
Okay, back to the areas. My pink, which is Todd's favorite color, you'll hear him in here soon. He traced the YM, which is the Dow Mini. Hey, hey, hey. And the, <laughs> it's right there. Antonio, when he's quiet, uh, say that, and he comes back in, he gets all mad. Hey, there's nothing wrong with pink, man. You know? That's right. Jeez. Anyways, uh, pink is uh, the gaps for the 15-minute time frame. Okay? Blue is for the one minute, which is right here on the right. Why the one minute? Because we're intraday. We want to get really technical where the market wants to go. That's why we have it on the one. Okay. So these areas get canceled when price goes through it. Like when the market dropped here, this is uh, what? 6 a.m. in the morning, 640. It created these big gaps here. Well, all of this wasn't here. You know, all this was in here. So it, it, it was open. So, so this is when it came back up, we knew it was going to come back into this area, which is our room's not open yet. It filled all these gaps. So I pushed them all back to where they got filled. Same thing here. There's an order block right here. And this one. It is this one. How do we know that? If you look at your 15 minute time frame, see all these wicks? Obviously, there's money sitting here. It's been bouncing off of the bouncing off of that, bouncing off of that. Okay. 47.50 on ES is a major level. If it starts breaking to the downside today, it already hit 44. And we can see 4,700. It's the next big level. There are levels marked before then 47.41. You got a 36. You got a 25, 26, you know, and so on. There are big gaps down here, too, if you see this. Painted from December or November. And it's making gaps up above. You know, so all these will get respected later on. Maybe not today. Depending, right? Depending on what news are. Here are news in two minutes. Once uh, uh, we have here, uh, let me see, non, non uh, unemployment claims. Unemployment claims need to be lower. No, higher if the market's going to like it because the higher it is means the economy is, is not doing as well. Um, really, I have that backwards. If the economy is not doing, if, if you're losing jobs, uh, the, uh, the thought before was that, yes, you were buying the market because you're losing jobs. Okay, cool. The Fed's not going to raise, raise rates because they were playing on the upside on that. Now it could be flipped. Okay, now if it's strong, uh, if it's strong, they may not like it, but we'll see. I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth or nothing like that, any thoughts. We just trade what we see because the market could act good one month on something and then turn around and flip it the other way. So we're going to trade what we see here in a minute. Okay, 8.30 and about a, a minute. You go to ForksFactory.com. I can send you this link to uh, uh, Antonio, and, and it's free news. You know, you have that up. It tells you when news are coming, and here we are. You got a big bounce here. Let me see where Mr. Dow is now on that. See, we took profit on that sell, and right here went back to 86 so or 90. So we're, we're just sitting here. Got a couple of doji candles. The market's on the side. Why? Because there's news. Okay. Five seconds. Here we go. We tend to wait a couple minutes afterwards, guys, because if it's going to go, it's going to go which way or another. It's going to go. Here we go. Let's see. Three seconds. Okay. And that's why I'm telling you, once you know what's going on and once you start finding out what this crazy market does in certain things, you will love it. Better than expected. Better? Yeah. Okay, so that's better than expected. <clears throat> Continuing is better. <clears throat> Existing, all that's better. So <laughs> let me show you. Here, guys, let me do this. <clears throat> you see, yeah, better than expected, better than expected. Unemployment claims. Um, so it's more unemployment claims. So that means... That, that means the economy is not doing as well, right? So this means that the Fed may hold off 
on any more interest rate uh, uh, alleviation or hikes, whichever way they're thinking. And the market's kind of holding here, but we have to see. We have to see what's what they're thinking, what the thoughts about that. When the market was going up, the better that it did, the worse it was because they knew, okay, God, economy's doing better. He's hitting us with interest rates. You know, we, we don't like that. Um, but then it started to turn around in November. It started going up. So now the market tends to uh, uh, buy the rumors, sell the news type of deal. Or now if he starts easing interest rates, the market's already selling off. Why, you know, easing interest rates, guess what? The, the banks are, are not making as much money on their money. You know, so it's crazy. It's better for the consumer, but the market doesn't like it. That's like the, the kind of like the rundown, you know. But you see how Mr. Todd said, hey, it's better than expected, per se, more green. And look at the market getting hit. Remember the Dow trade. It was a short 86, 89, look where we're at again. So here we are. You got some questions, Albert. Oh, okay, we got some questions here. Oh, Ruluca, morning. Uh, short again at 792, stop is 825, okay, on the Dow. Uh, let me see. Good morning, good morning. Uh, are these sessions recorded? Yes, they are recorded. <coughs> yes, they are recorded. Yes, we have a YouTube channel and everything, Antonio. Let me see. What is your opinion about the information in Germany? Oh, man, you know what? I, I Market might not care, Raluca, about that. Market market is going to, unless it's something really, you know, really big going on, which it may be for, for, that, for that country, but not the world and sense. Look, look, look here, guys. Look, uh, this was my buy zone uh, a couple of days ago because the daily gap. Look at this NASDAQ getting killed. Look at ES at 44 now. Look at your ES here. Going back to the bottom here, 44. Richie has orders down here in the 30s, man. He's, 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 he's got this pinned, man. See how it's creating big gaps here? Uh, this one's not, but it's creating one here because there's nothing in between these two. So I'll do this. I'll paint it, right? Real quick. Next target, 767 on Dow. Guys, okay, so you're seeing it. You're seeing this now. The market doesn't like it. So now we need to... You remember ES Dow is already getting hit. ES should have been shorted. You got the Nasdaq here too following. Uh, here's Dow and Nasdaq here. With gaps getting getting made there on the Nasdaqs, getting to that daily gap. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, Nasdaq sitting down here. What seventy two and NQ could come. Oh my God! It passed my man. I, I uh, it's news, man. So this buy zone is, is negated here, guys. I wouldn't. This bounce, this bounce needs to be, uh, this bounce needs to be shorter. I set it to short now on the Nasdaq 83. There it goes. Chasing it. 83 short Nasdaq. So the bounce needs to be shorted. I'm chasing it already. Melting, melting. So a, a daily gap. Here's your day gap. Remember I showed you this. I'm going to show you again so you guys see it. This is why my charts are all painted up. People don't like it. But you know what? It, since we're teaching, I have to do this because if not, you won't see it like this. You know, here's your NASDAQ gap. See, there's no candle between here. This one got negated with a wick. But this one here, there's no gap. It's going to it. It can go down this one. There's a little one down here, a big one down here on NQ. Watch. See, it's yellow. But it can go to this next one here. It's passing this one. So next one, 400. I mean, it's a ways away, guys. But look, I, I mean, I wouldn't put it past it. It's filling up those gaps. So let's see. 
All right, let's see what this market wants to do. Once it gets going, let me go back to the 15. If you see it, it's going. Oh, my God. I'm out of that trade. It stopped me out. Got a couple hundred bucks on that. Um, <clears throat> once it gets at this, uh, ES is 46, which is here now. I don't see anything more up top. I just see this little 46 here to get filled. 46.75. Or 46. 45, 75, 46. So, guys, we've got members in the room that are very well, great traders, too. They do help us with uh, with some things that we do. You guys will learn also. And you'll be putting the stuff on here, too, man. I'm telling you. Here's another short NASDAQ. This market should be short at any bounce. Right now, this is going on now. We are at a... At a low, oh my God, look at that drop again. We're down here at the low. Some people don't like to short the lows, but right now, news guys, the mark is not liking it. So look, it closed that gap that it made, so I push it back. Let's see, 44, it respected it here. There should be order block here, 44. Let me do that. It's, it's hard to keep up with. All these shirts at the same time, guys. That's why you see me kind of scrambling. Scrambling. And also, let me explain. Let me see if any more questions. You ever look at on that on that news that you got from Germany? It may it may affect it may affect the entire market, but we'll see. We'll have to see when that happens. The futures might not care. You know, not not that it's not important or whatever, but Futures market may not care about that. Um, you know, we can we yeah. can get Richie to address that when he comes in too. Yeah, we can get Richie too. Yeah, get his yeah. opinion. R Richie, I don't know if you know Todd. He's 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 pretty sick. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he tried to bounce back too fast. Yeah, well, you know, it could be it could be you know it, it's it's it is what it is, right? You went through that. I've been through it. You know where you. Yeah. You start feeling better and, and you know, you wanna you know, you wanna come back and he just needs to rest, lay down and rest. And anyways, guys, we're down here at the bottom. Double bottoms are pretty strong at every quarter of time, meaning it's eight thirty nine Eastern, eight forty five. We're gonna see what happens here with this double bottom. It can go right through it. Okay. I show you when a pattern sets up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. What we look for right now is free falling. I mean, look at your ES now is getting into this gap. I mean, you're, you know, you're seeing it. I wouldn't be a buyer of this market. The Dow's looking beautiful. Over oh, Luca, well, I mean, it may be something, something big, something big starts doing that. Maybe, you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, historically the market takes a hit. You know, it, we were all-time highs. My God, I mean, you know, expect, we're expecting something to whatever that is. Turn of the year, you know, you got elections here coming up, election year, and all that stuff. It, it it gets crazy. So if we get crazy, I can just imagine, you know, guys. So that said, it creates order blocks up above. I paint those two, four later on. Of course, there's one there. Why? Because look at all the wicking going on there. It didn't want to go through that level. So obviously this is a strong level. There's one up here on ES. One down here is trying to go through now the 741. I don't know what that's read probably from. That may be the bottom of the no. Man, this is a big brother. This is a big gap for ES down here. This thing could go to oh my god. This thing could go to 4700, man. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, not today, but it is headed that way. Hey, Esam. I don't know. Are you trying to get in here? Are, are you trying to get in here? Ease I'm in here. Oh, we changed the password. Oh, I'm just. I'm surprised that you let me in every day. It's really cool. Okay, Ease is coming in. Okay, uh, we changed the password. You know, once in a while, and he uh, he didn't get the memo, so but he's coming in. Again, guys, you're getting a short into this day gap. As you see, the market's free falling. Okay. So because of that, Richie may get his 30, uh, I think he was at 36. It broke the next level, 44. So you're just going to get, you know, looking like it once at 36. You, you, do you see it falling? 
I'm already up for the day, buddy. I'm kind of like done. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I shorted early. I shorted early, early this morning. Uh, I, hope, I hope Richie's got some parameters set for his. Yeah. He should be doing really good. Yeah. So, guys, here, let me see. Make sure Esam gets in here. Orlando, thank you so much for helping us, man. He, he's a very well-rounded trader. He comes in here and helps us. And, and guys, look, these guys don't have to do that. They're sitting at home, you know, kicking back. They don't have to. They don't have to help us. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to. But they love to give back. Why? Because they've been through what we're going through and and learning and things like this, and they want to give back. And you know, they want to say, hey, I want to I want to be able to be part of the community and give back. And so anyways, you're getting a bounce here. Why the market is way oversold. Of course, it can be oversold for a minute, but it's going to get to an area where you're sure 43. We have two minutes here. I'm going to show you a move that I like to do. If it happens, I'm going to show you so you kind of see what's going on. You're getting a great bounce here. Really good bounce. So. Big money will come in here. If you look at your order flow here, guys, look, look, look at ES. You start seeing blue dots coming in. The more blue dots you get stacked orders, the stronger it is. Let me see here. I'm getting that. Esam, I see you. Welcome, buddy. I'm sorry uh, I'm so sorry about that. We, we had to change your password. and Well, here you are. People have been hitting me up and stuff, and I just give it to them on text or whatever. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, if you want my number, uh, I'm going to put it in here so you can reach out. Although you already, you know what, you're reaching me on chat on the website, so just go through that. It's fine. So we don't get the world calling me at 3 in the morning. <laughs> That's when I sleep. And people over there getting up, they're like, Albert. <laughs> they're like, Albert, the market's running. And I'm like, dude, I'm sleeping. Anyway, so yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it on the chat on through the website. That seems to that seems to work. Very good. If you go to the website, guys, if you want to reach out to us, uh, go to the website uh, lpqtrades.com. Right here, lpqtrades.com. Okay, if you see my chart here. And go down to the bottom here on the little chat deal. You press that, you can get a hold of me. Okay. So that's our website there, lpqtrades.com. All right, guys. So right now, every bounce is being shorted. Okay. Every bounce and what you do. Let me go through some things really quick. Now that you, some of you guys are in here, more guys are in here. You you want to first, you got to be careful down here. This 44 strong. You see, it's going back to 44 access resistance now. You know, it, it's it's a level one to 41. It made 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 a new low from before, but it's still pretty strong level per se. This whole area. It's only uh, three four handles in here, so it can serve as a good uh support level for the upside of the market now with that said uh, unless that dow starts to run i don't i don't see an upside just yet Dow's strong man this dow is crazy it's up 90. that dow see that dow starting to run look at it's 846 i'll show you on the dow guys look this is my signature move i didn't see it when you get a double bottom on the 15 minute like this see that double bottom on the 15 meaning two candles next to each other in the 15. okay you start looking at those at every quarter every quarter okay meaning eight o'clock 8 15 8 30 8 45 candle look at this here you see that the market can can, can turn can turn but it forms a w on that double bottom when it forms a w this is a good trade but it's still trying this this middle leg on the w very easy it's going to print a middle leg 
you wait till it comes down, boom. When it starts to come up, you already got a double bottom, okay? You can buy an idea to buy the middle leg and you place your stop on the smallest imbalance candle on that leg. So your stop, let's see for reference, will be right there, right at that wick, okay? So I'll make this green for the buy. I just didn't see it, guys, but I'm remember I was sending him in. Let me see if something sets, sets up here. Here's your your stop. That would be your buy, your stop coming up, and look, it's going through. Now, with that said, ES may do the same thing. 845, look, double leg on ES. It's into the gap. Didn't make the W, but it's pretty strong. The NASDAQ, too. NASDAQ is crazy. NASDAQ will go up 30 for every ES3 or some, you know. You know. Double bottom on the NASDAQ to clear the gap completely. NASDAQ is crazy, guys. This gap is closed on the day on the NASDAQ. Next one is down here. Now, it can still fall. Remember I had a big buy zone here before I took it away? There's a big buy zone here. 30 from even down to 30. I took it away when the guys came in. Ah, let me negate that because of news. Look where it's bouncing from. It was the... The buy zone look like this. I think, I mean, it's on video. I'm not pulling your leg. Okay, guys, you can go. Yeah, yes. You got to watch him. <laughs> it, look, <laughs> it looked like this. I should have left it so people, it looked like this. Why? Because from even to the gap, Phil, I had a buy zone here in the NASDAQ. I, I took it out because of news. I said, ah, let me just be safe. You want to be more conservative. Okay, so we'll go to the Dow. Look at the Dow. Boom, look at that trade. Now you can take profit, leave a stop here, or put your stop to even right there. It may never come back down to here. Remember, your short was 86. You got 20 on the way down, and you got 10 on the way up. Or 20 on the way up. So you got from 86 to 62, that's 20. You got 20 on the way up. You're you're up 40 freaking handles. You're done. You're going to Walmart. I'm sorry, it's just hard to keep up with three charts at the same time. Dow's doing this. Look at ES trying to follow, trying to follow. I mean, that's the NASDAQ. And ES trying to follow. See, ES, you can argue that this is a W. It doesn't print out perfectly on every chart, guys. You could argue... This is a W. It's just a little creepy. This is the middle leg, so you will be a little late on the ass getting in here. But no problem. It should pull back, get to 43, 43.50 or 42.50. Why do I know that? Look at this gap, man. It left on the one minute. So pull back to this area right here. 43, 42.50. I'll put a little buy. 43, 42.50. Let me see. 43, 50. It can go way down there too. Wow. 43.50. That's what it's showing me. So I'm just telling you what it's showing me. Okay. The chart is showing me. And 42.50. Hey, I got a sell zone on Dow. <clears throat> yes. Starting at starting at eight oh five. Okay. Eight oh five. Sell zone. I'm sorry. Do I say say that again? On starting at starting at about um, eight oh five. Yes. And going to eight thirty five. Eight oh five. Eight thirty five. Sell zone on Dow. Yeah. Eight oh five. 835. So let's do this. So we mark sell zone. I don't like that sell zone, but hey, I don't have to like it. It's clearing this 15 minute gap from the drop. You see that? So Mr. Todd Craner is taking part of that and saying, hey, it can get to this 805. It can, it can come down. It's creating gaps here, too. If you see, there's a gap there. It's just hard to draw them for three charts, guys. But you see yeah. what I mean, right? You 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 guys who will be able to do this on your own. 
that's what I'm showing you. Uh, no gaps here. Uh, let me see. Maybe, yeah, maybe from cheese. That ripped up pretty hard on that call. I made a leg call. Look at it. But it can come down. Look at it. Yes, guys. Remember, I gave you some numbers. I have them on, on green here. It can come down to 43.50. I have them marked 43.50 and 42.50, this area. Trying to get the low again. It may not. It may skip that. But it looks like it wants those two spots there. It may not get it, but. I'm going to leave it there for now. That, that's why my charts so marked up. People may say, well, why are your charts are like that? They ask me, but we're trying to teach. So it, it's, it's hard to keep up with all these charts and trying to erase and make them pretty. So I just leave it so you just can see it. You can go reference. You can go back and just see what we're looking at. Okay. You can ask any questions too. If you guys are on here. And uh, we're getting to the open, too. I mean, we got 40 minutes, but you know what I'm saying. The market may mute here for a minute and uh, get these on the open. It can do that. Dow can reach to this area at the open and crash right back down. So that's a good area. Let me do this so you can see it. It's the area here. I'll get rid of this because these were examples that I was showing. And if you notice here, it, 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 uh, see, see, look, let me show you. See this, see this five, uh, one minute. See how it cleared it to the tick. Make it bigger, guys. On the drop, it created it, but see how it cleared it to the tick. Sometimes it goes to 50% takes off. The very first one did. The second one came down and hit that and clear this. So what I do, I push it back now. That's negated. That's not here anymore. There's another one that really, this is, uh, this is all shut down. This should look like from there to there. And really, this one should be here like this. No, that's right. That should be like that. Right to the tick, right back up. I'm still expecting ES to come down here. See, it's trying to fill that gap. It went to 50%. Guys, two or three. Look, ES is $50 a a a, a, a handle, meaning uh, 50, $50 a dollar. It has four positions, which are $12.50 each. Okay? So 50 bucks a handle. You get three handles a day. That's $150, guys. This is your $150, and then you're done. Three handles. We're going to give you ideas for many, many just ideas, okay, um, per, per day, quite, quite a bit a day, that if you want to follow those calls, you'll be able to do so very well. Now, they all do not work out, okay? Read the CFTC rule up here, too. I'll flag that in there. Make sure, you know, that you read this. Okay, so disclaimer. For the futures market, you know, there is risk and they are, you know, hypothetical simulated re results. Um, just just read that. OK, but with all that said, that's all just legal stuff we have to have. But with all I said, look at your ES. This move on ES, what? It's uh, 46 down to 44. You're up. Uh, do the math on that, Todd. I'm sorry, I was. <clears throat> I'm sorry, oh. I was reading something. You up a hundred bucks per contract there. Oh yeah, forty-six to forty-four. Yeah, you get three handles. Remember, I told you these two that the market wants to go to. Make sure that I have those numbers right. Oh man, it hit one already. Forty. Forty-three fifty. No, it didn't hit that yet, did it? Did it tick down? No. 43.50. Yeah, 43.50 and 42.50. 
now on this drop, I will take some profit. You know, leave one in. These two areas, maybe the low. It can go to the low again, which there is an order block down here, the low, because it respected this area, so we paint it. You'll be able to see this later on. I'm doing it, of course. I keep telling you because I want you to see it. You know, oh, okay. It worked there. Like, you know, there's one here. It's so respect at the top. It's just hard to do with every chart. There should sure move. It's gonna. It, it should get those two uh, ticks. At least the first one. Creating gap here. You see the one minute here. This one was negated. Okay, push it back. See from the top. Breaks down here. <clears throat> Uh, fake people up. It should it should come down to this area, but we'll see. We're near the open too, so it can be muted to here in the start. It can hit it, you know. So let me see the Dow, Mr. Dow. Almost, if you notice it, almost. Oh my God, it missed you, Todd, by a tick, right? <clears throat> yeah, I was watching it. I, I I didn't get in though. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's close to the open, so yeah. So see, guys, there was a big area here. I'm just showing you because see this big 15-minute area? That's, it got hit already. I'll paint it 15 FVG, fair, fair value gap. And But look, it got close to the tick. Look, candle wick to candle wick to the tick on the 15. That's why I didn't like, but, you know, it keeps short from there, but because this area was full all the way, Todd. I was like, man, I don't know. That looks beautiful. Look at your ES now. Look at it down now tanking, right? That I say that. <laughs> Look at ES. Where did it get to? Look. First area. Bam. Criminals. Oh, yeah, baby. There's your first one. There's your $200, $300 a day right there. One little trade, guys. Come on. Come down here. 42 and a half. Don't leave me hanging. Don't 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 make me look bad. <laughs> don't make me look bad, man. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Gonna do it. Forty-two seventy-five. Okay. So uh, maybe I was off a quarter. <laughs> so see, guys, like if you start learning to read the charts, you it, it may get it. Like it, it doesn't have to, but I just think I just think it's gonna wick down here still and fill that in. It may not. It may not. But okay, I was off a quarter. Okay, so now you know that trade was what from wait a minute, you're off a quarter. <laughs> you need to tighten up, man. I need to tighten up. <laughs> Look, 46.75 uh, to 42.75. Hey, I want to throw this at you too. Now, I don't know, <clears throat> but I'm seeing some buy orders at 55 to 30 on Dow. Okay, 55 to 30. Yeah, they, they may be sitting up for the open. Yeah. 55 to 30 on the Dow, guys. 55 to 30 on the Dow. So what we do, put a uh, 55 to 30. Let me do that. 55. So what we do, we'll do another little buy zone. 55 to 30. Copy this. Go to 55. 55. The reason why the Dow's bigger, guys, like the the buy because the Dow's creepy too. It, it has a big swing. So there's your buy zone for the Dow. Probably for the open to go the other way. Okay, let me see. Es es made me look bad. Oh, that's Nasdaq. Look at you, es right to the freaking tick. There's your trade. Two hundred dollar trade with one contract. Some people do three. That's your six hundred dollars trade if you do three. I'm just telling you, it's not my pretty face. I'm just telling you the stuff that Richie has taught me for four years now. Mister Todd's been here also. Thank God it's not your zone. pretty face, guys. Yeah, I know, right? And so right there, we erase these two because those are negated now. There's just so two examples of how we're trading the market and look right back up, right to the tick. <clears throat> I mean, right to the tick, right? I mean, I'm not lying. I told you this, uh, I don't know, 
10 minutes ago yep when Absolutely. i came up here so just telling you look that they'll be let me erase that double bottom play right to the tick so mr antonio you guys are here Esam, you, you know you you've been here for a minute um this is what we do every day now with news going on it can be a little headache these past couple of days of news fomc minutes and all it's crazy now are we clear now let me check yeah we're clear now pmi so 9 45 pmi we might need to be careful with just oh no that's somebody else right no us okay crude oil doesn't matter and again rich yeah, is level 44. It, it go a little deeper it doesn't matter it's still it's still holding this 44 for now but let's see yeah at 945 albert you got um 9.45, right? S&P, Global Services, PMI for December. All right. Let me warm up my Sanka. I'll be right back. Look at him. Right. I got one right here, Albert. Oh, good job. Man. Good job. Todd, good job, man. Way to go. Richie, what are you doing here? I'm, got, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <laughs> I, got my, I got my dope in me, and I'm good. No, I'm, I cut back on that stuff. It's, you know. Okay. It's been a weird, a weird kind of COVID. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm real good. Welcome. I see a lot of new newcomers here, and, and we appreciate you being here. Keep an open mind. You know, the future market is the way of the future, by the way. And that's why we're doing it. It's not an, it's not an accident. It, it provides liquidity beyond liquidity. It adheres to the technicals, which we believe in wholeheartedly. And... And it's just easier to navigate but a much bigger, more consistent way of making money. And that's what this is all about. Okay. So we will teach you as I, I've been listening in while I'm preparing some stuff. And, and Albert has done a, a terrific job here in preparing you folks. And uh, believe me, sometimes the trading is not as important as what we're teaching. So uh, please, don't make the PL. You know, the PL will come. Trust me, the PL will come. But the teaching is something that you carry with you no matter where you are. And that's the most important thing about what we do. So, this number here, this, this 44 number, 45 number. Look, I can tell you right now, I don't believe the market is finished with what, what's going on. I don't. I don't believe the downside is over with at all. I'm not yes. here. To, I'm not here to doom and gloom anybody. But I'm just calling it the way I see it. The next line of support here is uh, 47.38. 47.38. Now this support is a multi. Excuse me. Multi week range. It's been. It's been. It has been in since mid December. Shown by. Shown, it, it, it's just a very important. Uh, area was resistance on the way up became support on the way down and it's been an extremely important area if this breaks it doesn't hold you know you can look at 4708 if this if this if this 38 number holds and there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to test it soon if this 38 number holds we could get a kickback rally back to 67 and 71 okay so that's what I'm looking at. Yes. Three red days in a row now for ES. Uh, you know, I cautioned everybody yesterday. When you're dealing with a market that made up the, the bulk of its upside in two months, uh, and two-thirds of which was the Magnificent Seven stock, you got to deal with the, uh, with the result of that. It's not all peaches and cream when, uh, with those kind of uh, uh, parameters. Not at all. So... Let's yes, go sir. Yes, sir. I mean, technicals, technicals. Yes. We speak about this all the time. The technicals are so important. We've come to the conclusion that the algorithms that run the market, yes, they run the market, not the institutions, not the major hedge funds, but it's the algorithms, okay? But let's talk about this. The algorithms just don't show up their program. It's mathematical equations. So it only stands to reason that they are programmed to go somewhere. 
So where do they go? Does, does, does somebody, a programmer, take a dart and throw it up against the Barron's financial and say, oh, that's where it should go? Or a chart? No. Correct. That's going against historical numbers. It has to. That's why these technicals are so important. So what we do here, what we strive to do here to stay ahead of the curve is to look at these, know where these technical areas are. And there are a lot of technical areas. Not all of them are, are, are major, okay? So you'll hear us talk about major, and you'll hear us talk about other technical areas that are not major. So obviously the major technical areas, you're going to get more of a play uh, up or down, at least they'll be circling the wagons around these technical areas. There'll be a game that takes place for sure. Now, if they break 38 here, 05, 08, it, it, it's, it's months of relevance here. It, it, it was important resistance, resistance on the way up. Important resistance on, at, on June 20th and July 25th. Important, really. This was this area, I'm losing my voice. This area was resistance before the, before the FOMC meeting earlier this month. And when it broke out there from when the clown spoke, after testing it all day, it is a major support area now. So let's keep that in mind. It's important to know these things. They all play a game. I will point out that the, the United States debt is at $34 trillion today, folks. And if anybody thinks that inflation is going to go away with the reckless spending of, of this government, they're barely mistaken. It just can't happen. It can't economically happen. It's freaking impossible. Okay? Impossible. That's right. Impossible. So... This 46 area is really this 46 area it moved a little bit overnight. The 46 area was support on the way down. I went to sleep last night and put a 38 bid in and uh, obviously didn't get hit. But sometimes the Europeans make mistakes and they start, or sometimes the uh, international community makes mistakes, as we all do. And, you know, so you throw a bid in there. Sometimes you get lucky. Of course, I don't just throw a bid in there and go to sleep. I have that money protected, okay? Because I'm not in this game uh, to make any contribution to the criminal defense fund, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, so that's, that's funny. let me just say once again, and I, I just came up with this one about two hours ago. It was about 5 a.m. in the morning. And, and that is the future markets, folks, Y-M-N-Q-E-S, the future market, it's the future of trading. That's what we believe. And we are the future of trading because futures are, are, are the next level and the best way to make money. <coughs> That's good, Richie. I'm writing it down. Make a little, little deal on that later on. Yes, um, guys, you're listening to Mr. Richie Nasso. If you do Google, he doesn't like me to talk about this stuff, but I love talking about it because we're blessed to have him here and, um, uh, you know, joyful to be his friend and partner and I've learned a lot. And um, uh, you're talking about a guy that's did the floor, you know, NYZ, 40 years service veteran, um, had a seat, had worked with the biggest companies, you know, at the time, and they're still big now. Um, so talking about a guy that really knows what he's doing, um, has done this. It's not a guy sitting on top of a luxury car telling you, Hey, I can, you know, make you $20 a day. You know what I'm saying? So you listening to somebody who's done this, uh, and you're getting a big bid here. Let me tell you, I know it's close to the open, but, um, so anyways, I love talking about him in that way because it's the truth. He hates it. He is the one we do, but it is what it is. You know, we got to honor who, who's been doing this forever and, the brains behind the whole machine. So a double bottom down here. That's a good double bottom of the 15. If you see that 10, yeah. uh, 1045, uh, nine o'clock candle. Look at that. Now, now remember that that 46 area that I just identified becomes resistance on the way up. Okay. Yes. Just remember yeah. that. 
<clears throat> yeah. And you saw uh, the blue imbalances on the dome. Uh, blue <clears throat> auto imbalances showing up now. They're they're picking away. All right. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if this area holds, you know you can make that make that attempt at uh, sixty seven seventy one. <clears throat> and the reason why I identified the 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 the, uh, the relevance of these numbers. Okay, now let's let's talk about this one. It's forty seven seventy one. If this number, yeah, forty seven seventy one. It's a it was a key support on the way down. It's been support all week, and it failed yesterday, and now it becomes resistance. So, do you not think a mathematical equation doesn't know that? They're taking their data from historical numbers. Do you, did anybody think that a mathematical brilliant programmer does not know that? That's why they're relevant. Yes. I mean, we make this simple, folks. We make this yes. simple. Don't waste your time feeling you got to read some thesis on technical trading. You don't. We will lay this stuff out to you, and you will see it. It's like looking a picture is worth a thousand words. You will see it and you will get it. You're absolutely right. You guys, I drew that W there pattern, but as Richie said, this is resistance here. Maybe it failed. Remember, they don't all work. Okay. Just telling you double bottom did from the double bottom down here pushed up greatly great but the open is coming and you got resistance here at 46 so i drew it there just to show you hey just because it's got to break this middle leg and retest like it did before on the dow i think i still have that on there no i took it off this one here on the dow you know went through came back down now it's going back up again but you saw that trade there on the dow beautiful trade um one short 20 and one going long 20. So that, that gave you a good deal today, too. Now you being quarter hour bar coming now. I'm sorry? The 9.15 bar just came. Oh, there you go. 9.15 bar. New bar here. Thank you. New bar. New bar. New bar. bar. What's up? Oh. <laughs> bar. Oh, my God. That's cool. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, we'll remark again the low and the high for the session, uh, night session again, because things change. So let me do that really quick while you guys. Yes, yeah, I came down just a bit here. So sometimes in an area like this, whether you believe in sell side or buy side, but in a situation like this, when it comes back up to a re that, an important resistance area, that was an important support area, sometimes the Pollyanna is on the opening will try to uh, suck in some more buy side money if the downside is right. So that's what I'm looking for at the opening. If they even give you that opportunity to short this market again. Whether, yeah. I, whether I do it or not, I don't know. I'm not an analyst. We're here to take advantage of what they give us. Make no yeah. mistake about it. LPQ, limiting exposure, preventing blowups. Any trader, any master trader I've ever known <laughs> and I know a lot of them, and they were clients of mine. You can have 10, 15 wonderful trades in a day. One blow up could wipe them all out quickly. So we prevent blow ups and making quick turns, which you will see as we progress here for all you new newcomers. Yes, yes, sir. Not difficult. Eliminate what hurts you. Not difficult. I'm telling you, you can eliminate blowups. You you put yourself in a really good position to win. And we're not here to do anything else but win. You are right, buddy. Man, there's distribution going on here. Make no mistake about it. All right. Any rallies being distributed, sold in two. Yeah. 
the bond market 10 year note is creeping up as well. It's up almost 2% today. Be careful with that one. And that was a factor in the market weeks, weeks ago. And that's always a factor. With some, some cycles more than other cycles. Thank you, Orlando. We have a sell zone on the Dow 05 upstairs, 805 to 835. And you have, that's your sell area. Your buy zone down here from 55 to 28 downstairs, 755 to 28 downstairs, 30, let's just say. <clears throat> on Mr. Dow there. So you guys, you know. Of course, ES and NASA and SX getting crazy hit, but ES is even, guys. We're starting in an even market right now. Let me get rid of this W. It's just didn't stop doing anything there. So ES is even. So that tells you NASDAQ's down 71. It doesn't matter. That can in one minute that thing can be up 100 handles. And Dow's doing very well, but we are dealing with a market that's more to the downside, I think. Um, than uh than the upside i think but we'll see we're going to trade what we see like mr richie said not 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 guess <clears throat> so we will start here in, uh, in about about 12 uh uh 10 minutes you were take. Should all be looking at your uh, looking at your charts and looking at looking at this area from a technical vantage point. Okay, it's no accident that the market is hanging around this area. Okay, that's our belief. That's what we know with these technical areas. There's so many implications that substantiate that thinking, and it's happening right now. And it's happened all morning. Yeah. Also should keep in mind that the players are coming back. Okay. And so, you know, Wall Street is a funny thing. It's a funny place. You know, last year, no matter how good they did. Okay. And no matter how much they propped up their positions at the end of the year to affect their P&L, to affect their bonuses. It's a new year the next year. And we're in it now. So the game starts over again. The clock resets. <coughs> and that's how you have to think. Because that's how the portfolio managers think. Because I don't care who it is, and I don't care how much money you have on the management, their, P, their, their compensation is based on a P&L. Mm -hmm. And so we have to figure out what's in the best interest of the deep-pocketed investors. You got some big gaps downstairs, man. So I, I don't, I don't like. I'm, I'm with you, Richie. I, I, I believe that we're gonna see more downside. They're not done yet. Not only that, not only that, but again, when you spent the amount of money that they spent in no, in a short amount of time, even if they were establishing positions or adding to positions, okay. They're in markets at nosebleed, nosebleed areas. Yes. They're not going to put money to work here. No. They're going to they're going to wait till the market comes to them. This could last for four, six, eight weeks. This could last. It really could. Yes, you're right. Wow. You're right. They're they're, they're just you know take, take, taking profit now. You know, up there a week ago they started taking profit. I mean, they, they yeah. made their money. Yeah, they want more of a discount in the big picture, guys. So that's why you pull up your daily, you know, get all this craziness off and start looking with a the market. They've got a big gap down here in ES from 04, Richie's levels, man. 
oh four to forty. I mean, that's a big upside to a day that uh, that was on uh, uh, Wednesday, December thirteenth. That it can fill before these guys say, "Okay, it's time to go up again." So, and it could go beyond that, but I'm just saying that's the closest gap, which we're, we're right to it right now. So I just believe that's got to get filled before. You know, doesn't have to, but you know what I'm saying. High potential. He's been beaten down right now again. Now here's where the um, here's where the lack of experience forces inexperienced traders and and. and Inexperienced traders and investors make mistakes. Here's where they make mistakes. All right. They start to bottom fish way too early. Way too early. Nobody, no matter what you think of the market for 24, nobody could think that they should be committing more capital here after what they spent. Okay. After what they spent in at the end of uh, last year. I mean, it's just be suicidal way to think. And I'm not trying to push the market either way. Yes. Another low here, almost another new low, guys. So um. now uh, this YM, I look at this YM, I, I think this 3055 number is going to come into play. Yeah. You know, they're trying to buy all American companies. Yeah. You know, they think it's a safe haven. Well, let me tell you, they thought the IWM was a safe haven until they didn't. Okay. And that was the last index to join the party last year. Yes. If anybody read it, I don't know. You folks are from Trade Zero. I don't know how many folks are from Trade Zero, but... I wrote about this a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I pointed it out. And we, to my knowledge, are the only group that speaks about the Russell Index and the relevance of it. Yes, you're right. I'm just looking for this. I'll be, I'll be right there. One, two, three. Yeah, so to go into the buy zone. I mean, that Dow just took a big short. Guys, and there's a big buy zone downstairs. Look at my NASDAQ buy zone. It's gone. I mean, it went in, it ticked to it, went up, but it shut right through it now. Okay, I want to read something to you before the opening. It's just very quick. Go it's ahead, buddy. Up. Okay, so the Russell 2000 index in, finished in 2023 with a 15.1% gain. Okay. 15.1% after falling, after falling, 21.6% in 22. You mean to tell me that that doesn't tell you something? Remember, the components, 40% of the components of the IWM lose money. A lot of sell orders showed up on the dome. Put that dome up. Look at the dome, folks. Look at the dome. There it is. Yeah. Right before the open. All right. Here you go. Right on the 38 number. I'm telling you. Does your 38 number be lower? Richie says he grabbing liquidity there. This holds. You're into your buy area on the Dow already. Guys, we'll, still, we'll stay muted and see what the market wants to do. We're not going to guess at it. I know it's a buy area down there, but we've got to be careful. <clears throat> can't yeah. can ratchet up for a minute, so you'll have to be quick if you're, you know. 
<clears throat> Get into daily gaps here on ES, big time, man. It's encroaching big time into this daily gap. So, hey, you may get it. You may get a push, but yeah. But that is uh, that is a big push down. Gee, what a shock! <laughs> where look where it stopped. For the open, doing some adjustments to the 50 percent. You go to the NASDAQ, do the same thing. These drops and stuff changes your 50 percent mark. So, from 50 to 50, it's barely, but hey, it changed it just a little bit. We want to be precise. And that should be good. We'll go from there. We'll go with that. Then that's a close that whole day gap. You see Richie's 38 down here. Beautiful. Yeah, I went to 37, but you know what I'm saying, guys. We're within a couple ticks there. Those are emotions. It's almost yeah. good to see that. You know, yeah. you, you got to risk something. It's okay. To, you don't want to be late. You can be early, but you don't want to be late. So they overshoot these technicals sometimes. It doesn't mean that they're not right. Remember that. Yes. Here we go. All right, guys, let's see what happens here. You got uh, some buy levels down here in the Dow. You're on there now. Look, tick right, to, right back up. Look at that Dow play. Yeah, yeah, I just bought that dip. Oh, my God. Six micros. Brother, wow. you're awesome. Look at Mr. Richie getting involved already. No, I can't, I can't wait to be involved. That's great. That's guess what? I'm, I'm risking one handle. Okay, one. I just took two off at 40 and a half. There you go. Yes. Another one off at 41. One more push up. Come on, forty six. Let's 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 do it again, suckers. Come on. That was beautiful. Nasdaq ES pushing up very nicely. Might be short lived, so be careful, guys, with that play now coming down, holding this area. But that was a good play on the Dow. You had to go. Oh, 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 coming. Uh, Dow's, Dow's coming down pretty hard there. Bounced again. It's testing this area. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I just flattened out the position. Thank you very much. Good job. Have a nice life. Have a nice life. <laughs> hey, that's how you do it. You got to be quick in this market, guys, when you're doing the open. You know, we tell the newer guys, newer players, hey, wait five minutes. You know, just wait for a minute. Don't rush. See how it plays out. Well, Over time, you'll know exactly what to do. Gave it away. Watch the ES now, down four to five. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have any more voice to go into that four or five. But keep an eye on the on the ES contract right now. It's down three. Okay. When it comes down, when it comes into an area. Okay, when it was down seven eight, well, again it was uh, so thirty seven. It was down uh, six and a half handles. Look, forty six. I should have kept the runner. It's a mistake. Okay, it was a mistake. That's yeah. okay. That was that. your buy area from last night, Richie. Yeah. Yep. 
I mean, that was perfect, brother. That that was that was crazy perfect. Rich, you told me that area last night. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh my God, Richie. So he's creating gaps. It can it can come down and retest those. So this is the area. 46. Now this becomes a resistance area. Right through it. Oh my God. Oh, oh, did I give that away? Should have been a runner. Now, okay, when the S&P, when the ES market goes from minus 7, minus 8, or any market, in this particular case, any case in this way, in, in, in it, any case, it was down 7, 6 or 7, or whatever it was down at the worst, okay? When it comes down to minus 4 or 5, meaning it got better, okay? It's average. It, and it holds to minus 4 or 5. The algorithms are trained to go to flat and put up a couple of green ticks just for the sake of doing it. I hope everybody gets what I just said. Again, very simple concept, man. It's very simple. You don't need to read a novel to understand what I just said. You just have to know it happens. And what we're sharing with you here is I can tell you, I know it happens. What happened just now, folks? Where did it go? Right up to that resistance area again. This is no joke, man. Let's see what happens. The nine, the nine EMAs. For you folks that have just joined, the, the best scalping charts are the NQ, the ES, and the YM one-minute charts overlaid with a nine EMA and a volume-weighted average. I also have overlaid on these charts Keltner technical channels. Okay? Keltner check technical channels. Most brokers offer that for free. I know Ninja offers it for free. Some of you folks have accounts that trade zero, which we love, but we're partners with them. We love trade zero. And they're, uh, you know, they're, <laughs> they're, de they're developing programs to trade futures as we speak. So now sometimes, right now, they're coming back at this 46 zone again. Sometimes on a failed breakout, a failed. Okay. Okay, they come in two handles and then go after it again. Like this would be a buy opportunity if you believe in that theory. What else do you see to substantiate that, Albert? I'm sorry, I was on the phone, Richie. Oh, no problem. I'm saying that a failed breakout. Oh, failed breakout. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I'm seeing, let me see, let me pull up ES really quick. Yeah. No, I'm saying, I'm saying when they go to a failed breakout. And they only come in a couple of handles. They usually come out to break out of area again, and this time they take it through. Right. Yes. <clears throat> right. Right. I see uh, forty-one seventy-five on ES could be uh, a hit again here. Forty-one seventy-five, which is a gap downstairs, needs to be filled. Forty-one seventy-five, forty-one fifty. Okay, guys. Let me see here. I'm bidding forty-four. I just bidding bought 44. two. Forty-four. Okay. I just bought two micros at 44 under that thesis, under that game plan I just described to you folks. Yeah, that's not, great. I'm not messing around here now. Let's go. Yeah, that's good, Rishi. That's a good trade. That was perfect. We're at the 200 EMA. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
I'm offering, I'm offering my two little mini micros out at 48 and a half. Let's see if this strategy works. These are, these are strategies that you could take with you anywhere, but cannot read it anywhere. Okay, we're getting Martine in here. I'm sorry about that, Richie. Good. My eyes, eyeballs off of this thing real quick. Oh, that's a great trade, Richie Nasso. 48 and a half. Come and get him. Come and get him. Look at that. This guy, man. I don't want to say this, but maybe you should get sick more often. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, Richie does this all the time. Look, it's another piece of the puzzle here, guys, where we're like looking together and trading together and I see that 41 is 40. What is that? 42 now, 42 and a half. I saw 41 earlier, 41 and a quarter. ES and ES is strong, man. We got it the Dow. Hey, that hit the buy zone on the Dow. You guys should be good on that Dow play. That was beautiful. What's the low in the Dow? <clears throat> Looks like recent. What? What is that, Todd? 20? 19? 40, 42.75. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong chart. Um, Pre-market, it was 720. Right. Yeah. Then it came back down to uh, 46. Yeah, it's been hitting that 20 all night. So 930 candle, pam, 20 again, and right back up. So that's a good buy zone there. That was nice. I'm just seeing ES a little creepy. Trying to get to 4250. Well, we have news in five minutes, too. Oh, we got news in five minutes, guys. So yeah. be careful here. Let me yeah. see. Jeez. Yeah, you're right. Get all excited. No, I'm just not blowing it. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to spitball it. Spitball. But we don't want to what? Do we have Martine here? Let me see. Martine, Martine. I don't see Mar Martine's coming in too. I see that 4150, 41, yeah, 4150 getting possibly hit here. Let's see. Say a little get in there. Here it comes. 4150, 4150, 3925, and yeah, it could, it could come down pretty good. 4150 and 39 doing an M there. Did I make a top? Well, we're getting news here, guys, too, like Todd Cecil. Let me not get excited about this. No, no. I raised my, I raised my offer to 49 and a half, by the way. I did not add down there. I don't like the bunch together positions. Yes. And the S and P is right again, right down a half of a half a hand. Okay. Now I'm going to protect this because of the news. Yeah. That's a good that's a good idea. Oh man, the good job. It didn't even get down there, did it? I mean the market looks like it wants to like they get 42.25 or up 41.50. Okay. Wow. That Dow's going up. 
but you know, news are coming, it's coming guys. So yeah, I'm, I'm being cautious. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let, let's just wait on these guys. We should wait on these. We don't want to. I just, so love, nice. I just raised my stop to 43.50, literally risking a half a handle on two micros. Okay? Wow, great. Well, yeah, am I going to gamble with this news? Sure, why not? Pollyannas <laughs> can show up. Why? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Richie the gunslinger. I'm at 49 and a half criminals. Come and get them. That, that was beautiful. That was going to the cell zone now. Yep. Mr. Eddie's in the house. I see what? Eddie in the house. Eddie, good morning. Wow. Eddie Welcome. in the house. Happy days, Eddie. Daddy, Eddie. It's all better when Eddie's here. That's right. Everybody likes Eddie. I tell him at church, Eddie, everybody likes you. Not everybody likes me. And he laughs. But Eddie, everybody loves Eddie. He's a nice guy. Eddie. 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 My son loves Eddie. <laughs> That's a good temperature, man. When your son, when youth like you, okay? That's 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 good. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, well, he's he's two out of three, right? He likes me too, so you know. <laughs> there you go. See you later. 49 and a half. 49 and a half. Oh my god, Richie. What's Richie. going on? What drugs are you taking? I'm the first. This is the first day I feel better. Oh my God. Well, Richie, you probably needed some rest. So, you know, it takes a few days to kind of just stay out of it and relax. No, you know? no, no, no way. No, no. Way. <laughs> Richie can't do that, man. No, I can never do that. Forget it. Oh I, you know, I, I was, I, I'm still waiting on my food delivery, Richie. Oh, my, oh my God. God. You know, when I went, you know, through, I went through to look at that. Look at that out. Look at that out. You called the top. And look at it's, that out. Oh, there's Martin. Martin, news. welcome back, Martin. Composite PMI is worse than expected. Oh, what a shame. Uh, look at that. It's, that's global, called threading, ne threading the needle, folks. Global threading uh, the needle. Global, global's better. NASA the seamstress, the se seamist, right? I don't know what I'm saying. What did you say? That was beautiful. Five and a half handles. Oh, Eddie, we have some cell zone up here on the Dow. If you look at the Dow, I'm showing it now. Um, from from uh, 05 to 35, give or take. So it's wicking into that and getting hit. So that was before uh, it has the open. And we had a buy zone at the bottom here from, if you look at the text, 55 down to 28. Perfectly wicked a little further, but doesn't matter. Went right back up. That's where we're at on the Dow if you're looking at that. So, folks, that little bit of information talking about a breakout, okay, uh, that 46 area, that, that little bit of information right there where we said that if they failed the breakout and failed the breakout, but it only came in two handles quick, quick accelerated down two handles or so and that was about it okay you could buy that dip on a breakdown only only if it's accelerated and touched that 46 area or the technical area and came in okay you could buy that dip but what that did was really get us focused on that area and that resulted in that last trade so it wasn't one trade it was two trades. NASDAQ is la la lagging here, so okay. Yes. Uh, 4125, I still got 4150 on the S and, and 39. Still open down there. 
this is the beauty of having these mar uh, the the three charts that are next to each side by side okay it's the whole market yes it's the nq it's the es it's the ym yes it's the dow it's the s p it's the nasdaq there are divergences in the way they act just like i just pointed out okay now the nasdaq is acting poor i wonder why two-thirds of last year the magnificent seven are responsible for so you live by the sword and you die by the sword that's the way it works folks i'm not making the rules up i'm not touching this now now we're moving into a gray area yeah so either the nasdaq is going to continue to go come in go lower and it's going to drag the rest of the market with it which is quite possible because it took the market right up as i just pointed out so you got to keep an eye on this and here comes the ym coming down with a long wick here comes 41.50 baby yes right to the tick and then 39.25 nice. baby nice well now we're on fire here today folks we're all juiced up by our audience by the way we just love teaching yes yeah, you guys to chime in too. You know, come and chime in. We have several players that will say, hey, I'm looking at this, looking at that. So definitely that's, you know, you guys can do that too. We try to read all the messages. It's just a handful, you know, a handful of uh, dealing with three charts and trying to paint them up for you. And so I'm looking for, yes, at 39, 39 even, but we'll see. I have to repeat 41.50. And then, I mean, it can bounce again, guys, like it just did. Richie got the long on that play. Um, it's just because you got two, well, let me erase this one. And that guy, well, I'll leave it. Just because you got two bottom uh, ranges, you know, uh, 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 <clears throat> oh, targets, I should say, doesn't mean the market can do that right now. Okay. That's just, just to let you know. It's just, I saw it hit that 200 EMA and, that's my thing to kind of like stay away from either short or go the other way or something. Come on, that 40, hit that 41.50 again and then 39. You got imbalances. You got a uh, uh, buy side imbalances building up a little bit on the current bar. I guys remember Richie had these levels since yesterday. That 39 got hit. He told me this last night. Hey, I'm buying here. I'm going to sleep. So, <laughs> and throughout the night, I told him, I oh, know, Richie, that 50, man, it keeps, yeah. and look, and look where we're at from that 50. Yep. So, see, experience, man, it's, it's, there's not a value in experience. Let me tell you, man, it's priceless because, you know, I just, I just don't know, guys. I, I'm just telling you what I live every day and, and being in here and, and how I've learned the market. It's just consistency, hard work, and having the right mentor and go from there. Well, thank you for that. But let me just say something to you folks. Albert is a student of the game, okay? Student of the game. He puts in his work. I call him the vampire lately. <laughs> he doesn't even sleep, this guy. And Todd Crater, the newest addition, is, oh, a, get it. is a workaholic who doesn't stop, who can't even sleep on the weekends, waiting for Monday. Okay, so I, I don't mean to be cute here at all, but what I'm saying is you have a dedicated team here that nothing is going to slip between the cracks. Yes, you're absolutely right. Thank you, Richie, for that. Um, guys, at 39, the 41.50 got hit to the tick, and now the market's going the other way. Uh, That's just a terrific got call right there, Robert. That's a terrific call that was identified 20 minutes ago. <clears throat> yes, and now the market's getting some strength here. Now it's, it's coming into an area, like Richie said, 
like is it it's gonna break through you know it's it is the market's got the force for breakthrough you got some dow sells up here it's a big zone to sell is the market gonna have the strength to come through i don't know we'll see all we care about is that they keep the volatility going that's it they keep the volatility going we'll figure out how to beat the criminals hey um I wanted to get some thank you. Did you say Todd's name in vain? Um, I know. Not in vain. I know, right? About being a workaholic or something. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah, while you're getting coffee. Yeah. yeah. A workaholic, a workaholic who cannot wait, could not even sleep on a weekend waiting for Monday morning to start over again. That's terrible. But look at you guys. I see both of y'all posting stuff in the middle of the night and, and Richie's sick and he's still in here. And the commitment is just huge in this room. <clears throat> yeah, man. We've got people all over the world in here. It's Martin. You have um, Merluca in here. I mean, some, you, Antonio and I. I mean, you got some people that are watching the other side of the world and maybe nighttime for them too is very hard because it's hard when you get home and it's nighttime to come in here to the market and try to learn this too so we applaud you guys for being here absolutely you know, we, we take for granted that the trading hours that's yeah. all i know i mean and you should all know that uh if you don't uh that i had an office in london and i had an office in switzerland yes uh, and you should all know that I'm very familiar with the Europeans and but everything is predicated on the US market. So the people who are in the market, uh, uh, the people who are in the market have to adjust their schedules. And that's the way it is. You know, I don't make the rules. Yeah, guys, go to lpqtrades.com. You see a picture of Richie right here. I'm displaying it around really quick. Um, that tells you everything background about Richie and about what's going on. You can also search on the internet and also my background here in that a company for 25 years and how I got into trading and things like that. So I wanted to show you really quick. Visit lpq.com. Um, here you're at the 200 EMA. That's a play for me. I'm showing you this chart so you can see. I played this 200 EMA. Why? Because it's been being played for a minute, as you can see. Every day has been trying to hit it, trying to go up through it, and it hasn't yet. So for me, a 200 EMA needs to get hit, retested, and continue. This is your 800 up here. So it's trying to do the same play as it did yesterday, trying to break through. NASDAQ is weak. And Dow's breaking through it. Dow usually does a little different. but So I just want to show you that chart really quick. Go back to the lighter chart here so you see the areas. <clears throat> All right, man. I see an area downstairs at 44. 44 even on this push down. Let me put a little mark there to make sure that I'm in looking at this the right way. There it goes. I still see one at 4150 and one at 39. But it's moving away from that. That Dow's taken off, guys. This, this, this may be that that might have 38 that Richie said may, may be the bottom. See how the Dow's getting into a sell zone area here? So you got to be careful. But it may be just for a scalp sell because it's looking really good. It's closed these gaps. So you can see. So it is looking good. There is a sell zone area up here on Mr. Dow. NASDAQ coming down. It's just this NASDAQ is not looking good. What's Apple doing? No. Apple down two and a half, two yeah. sixty. Uh, Apple's got a problem. And if Apple's Apple, got a problem. Uh, and if Apple has a problem, the market, market has a problem. Yeah, guys, that's what I'm saying. So Dow's getting a short up here, the zone. It is uh, heading up really nice there, but you have to be careful, okay, guys? Yeah, it could just be a pullback here, Albert. Yeah, 
might be just close that 15 minute gap from yesterday's push down see that at uh, one or oh, what's that around three o'clock so now just fill that gap so you may get a push down here comes es baby support on the nasdaq is 50 and three quarters You know, usually when you no, I I, I don't want to I don't want to say fifty and three. Uh, hold on. Yeah, fifty and three quarter support on Nasdaq. I have displayed on on my one of my monitors, uh, three minute charts, on Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. And on my main screen, I have the seven magnificent stocks, okay? And the three-minute charts tells me the near-term movement of, of uh, these four stocks that account for almost 20% of the S&P. Here comes your 44 on ES. That's another three, four handles almost there. Come on. Don't make me look bad, ES. Apple down over three. Hit that 44, baby. And 41, yeah, 44, beautiful. Nice. 41.50, come on. You may get a bounce here and then repeat and then come back down. Here comes the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's Just looking creepy. 50 and three quarters. Filling in that uh, 44 in first, and then you could get a turn down the, the rest. Take a look at the one minute chart, Albert, and then the NQ. Todd, I'm take on. a look at the one minute chart, the NQ. Okay. The 90 EMA is almost uh, is approaching the volume weighted average. Yes. A, uh, it looks like a sloppy M. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's looking yeah. bad, like you said, Richie, because of Apple. Apple is stuttering here. Everything is kind of. Uh, kind of flat, but Apple's getting hit. Amazon's getting hit. So here we go. Come on, ES. Don't make me look bad, man. Come on. This is crazy. What's going on? Oh, 10 o'clock. I'm like, okay, guys, what's going on here? New 15 minute. New hourly candle, too. You can look at your hourly candle, guys, and see. Just made a new one here. Doji on the last one here. That's pretty negative there. So let's see. Let's see. I don't want to be calling on things before they happen. So let me see. ES. ES, get that. Yeah, it went to 44. Okay, a little lower. Bounce right off of that. It can go uh, 50, 75. 50, 50, 50, 75. And that 50s, Richie's uh, no level there, a half, halfway point. So obviously, we're in a range. This Dow's taken off, man. See it? Dow's up 139. That zone might want to erase that sell zone there because I think that's to close that gap. That's gone already. Dow's trying to get wind. If you notice your ES, what did we say? 5075? You already hit it. Never mind. <laughs> Getting into order blocks up here. It's your 5075. 50 right over that. So let's see what happens here. ES and Dow looking beautiful. It's going to push this NASDAQ up. That 38, Richie, you told me last night, dude. I can't, man, I can't believe it. I mean, you know. Bro, that was it. Sometimes, folks, excuse me. Sometimes, folks, you'll see that there's a time to uh, to play a runner, a runner. And in an area like that, okay, there was time to play a runner. And you could just play one micro, for instance. And you looked at, played it at micro for 30 or 40 handles. 
all right? Or else you protect, or else you risk $50 by stopping it down 10 handles. That's it. That's the play. Just a runner. Simple, simple play. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> that doubt just that wants to move up here. That wants a 30, 30, what, 37,900 is the next stop for that. Dow looks like it looks like it's pushing out, which is the top of yesterday's uh, run up at the end there. That's what it looks like. So it's a draw down here because you got some gaps, as you see. It's just too fast to be painting that right now. Uh, NASDAQ 2 had a gap here, went up, came all the way back down, so left a little gap down here too. It's just hard to keep up with all this. I try to do it for all you guys so you can learn and say, hey, this is how the market moves. There you go. You know, notice that the S&P is trying to get above, above, plus four or five. This be, this is a resistance area in the S&P. Okay, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Keep it on. Plus five. If it goes above, above plus five, it's a resistance area and it will break out. Yes. At 38, Richie. Oh. 38. All right, upstairs, I see. Downstairs, it needs to come 49.75 again and kind of fill that up. But upstairs, oh, wow, 53.50. There it 57. is. 57. 56. There it is. Exactly on time. ES goes above plus five. What happens? Yeah. Yes. That was very nice. Market looks nice at 38. And guys, it looks good. Uh, NASDAQ now it's at 200 EMA. ES and Dow look beautiful. NASDAQ is creepy because of Apple. But you see your ES and the Dow running really nice. They will get to, uh, we said 55, 56, 56, 50, 57. Which is look, you see order blocks here from before. That's 55. You got uh, over 58. It's another, it's your 50% from uh, the drop on yesterday. And then you have a gap up here, 15 minute gap from uh, 57 to 61. That's what it's trying to get to. Yes. Let me see Dow, Mr. Dow. Oh, Dow's getting wetted. Why did we say up here the order block? 37.9, right? Yeah. Look, it's getting to it. It's, it's strong. It's strong, man. That uh that, that that 38 will sit on ES for a minute, brother. That that could be the low for just you know a while. At 38. That 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 was nice. That was nice. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, but that definitely they popped the heck out of that today. I mean, being at that 38 area held, okay, you could get a, you could get a run to, as we said this morning, by the way, uh, 67 to 71 area. Yeah, I think that's in play today. Yeah, buddy. And I see, I see it up there. I see it 56, 56, 50 first. Let's say 57, that area. And uh, that's your 50% regular session from yesterday. Keep your eye on the ES contract, okay? Okay, now four, plus four, five, coming down from plus seven, plus four, five, become support, Okay. Let's see if this rally continues, but they have to hold plus four or five. Why? Because the same reason on the way up, it does it all the time. The algorithms are trained to take this. If they don't hold, to go to even, okay? Yeah, let's hopefully come down to uh, 48, 
4850 to fill in that little area and 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 it'd be nice but it doesn't have to guys it can continue it's the area left behind there but it doesn't have to So let's see here. It's pushing, pushing now. NASDAQ finally caught up. Market looks good. All of a sudden, you know, we're flat, but Dow's looking beautiful. Oh, so you want to, you want 57 first, huh? The 57 is a, is a resistance area, by the way. It's yeah. not media, but it is a, it is a resistance area. Technically. There you go, guys. It's beautiful. To the moon, baby. You guys, so you're seeing the market pretty much a reversal for the day. That 38, beautiful. Richie said this yesterday. He's buying it overnight. There it is. Hit it. Beautiful. You saw some areas get hit now. The market's flipping the other way. Now we're going to start looking. Here's your 57. Now we'll start looking for pullbacks and go from there. Pullback could be 53, 53, 25, 53. Come back and close this little gap here. I'll paint it for you. It's just it's just a little handful to paint all the three charts, but I'll paint it for you. You start seeing why 50% of that little gap there, 53, give or take. Pull back on that to continue. The Dow's to the moon, man. NASDAQ finally caught up. What's Apple doing? Apple's still creepy. <clears throat> it's trying. It's trying. So you see a positive market right now for the time being. Man, they're buying the heck out of this market right now, guys. Any pullback, guys? <coughs> Consider buying. Just an idea. Hopefully, pull back to what did we say? 53.75. Let me recheck that. 53. Let me tell you the number exactly. This is the first time today. 53.25. In, in, in the last three bars, you've seen Delta be green. Meaning they are they are buying more stocks than yeah. selling within that bar. There it is, guys. You see how that looks. You keep buying and buying and buying and buying. Yeah. There, you're free to click anything up here, guys, to be able to look. It's your pullback. Come on. That's it, guys. Is oh, there we go. Come on. Okay, now you're seeing you're seeing you you should be looking at the dome now, folks. Look at the dome. Put the, dome, the dome, guys. Look at the dome. There's your dome. Very important. This is when it becomes really important. Okay? What's the high for the day? 57. Okay? What is the what is one of the factors in the market? since uh, the new year distribution into rallies so when you look at the dome you could see that the imbalance on the sell side is starting to show up which would replicate what the personality of the market has been since the beginning of the year which is a couple of days so yeah. right here if you folks are looking at this dome okay you will see you will see uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go back five. You'll see these buy imbalances in the blue right here. And this is where, this is the delta. So this is 3,000, 3,000 ticks per bar. And you'll see, you'll see after being red, red, this tells you, this, 
this tells you the amount of balance that's trading in a green or the red. Okay, so you, all of a sudden, green, green, green. Okay, you see that green, green, green. Well, you know what? They spent a lot of money. What happens here? They come to red. Okay. Now let's see if more blue imbalances show up. Let's just see. All right. We can wait on the two minute candle on the uh, 15 minute candle here in two minutes and see if that double top's going to be significant. We are here at the highs of the session uh, last night. Let me see three in the morning. Yep. Your obsession here. So, wow. Pencil so up. Let's see. Pencil up in the ES. Brother, you call that ES, man. And then we, we, we nailed it. We nailed it. So, that was beautiful, man. Sometimes you're wishing for a pullback. Now you won't get it. The market is relatively flat, except for Mr. Dow, okay? Hold on, I'm getting that call here. It's probably Mr. Pelosi. Him and I were good buddies. Yeah. <laughs> That's nasty, right? Oh. My God, dude. These people are into some crazy stuff. Anyways, whatever. Okay, we want to pull back, but you know, you see it, guys. You see this market ratcheting it up. It ain't you know, Dow keeps pushing up. They don't care. No. Well, the moon. Yeah. We, we want to pull back and be nice, but we're gonna get it. I don't know. Everything is looking nice. <clears throat> if this Nasdaq, if this Nasdaq goes green, this is the last. You know, look look for spots to buy the Nasdaq. Yeah. If if the Nasdaq is playing catch up here to form a strong foundation for a strong market today, which is the way it looks, you know, that's what it could produce a strong market. But we have to yeah. adjust our thinking when we look at these factors. Fifteen ninety six. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, fifty three two five will be beautiful, but fifty five fill it up now. Come on, fifty three two five. Let's see. Dow pulling back. That's healthy. <clears throat> Remember, double top. Europe's broke Europe's, you know, range there for a minute. You got a big fifteen minute gap from the drop from yesterday. Double top here. Be careful. Let's see. Let's see if we get a, a nice uh, pattern here to continue, or or is it gonna get kicked? So it doesn't want to go down, does it? Good luck now, right? <clears throat> you got stack sellers coming in on Dow, <clears throat> so maybe they're taking profit at this point. It could getting ready to reload, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it could. I mean, there's a good pullback on a very positive Dow, a couple hundred now, give or take. So, you know, very strong. Nasdaq's really taken off now, too. It's going to be difficult to get some pullback. That was a beautiful pullback, but didn't reach my area. But forget it. Nasdaq took off. It's gone. Gone. Getting back to uh, Getting back to zero here. Like Richie said. So that double top there, ES. Let me look at YM got hit pretty good there, but some areas here on YM to consider. I think it's just a pullback. I mean, it looks beautiful, but you get a pullback here. 53 to geez, at least get me 53 to 5 uh, ES. Jeez. Criminals. My God. There you go. And Dow runs 100 or so. Expect a pullback from 100 to 100. I mean, that that's that's a good that's a good push. Going from what? From, geez, 21 downstairs to not, oh, 
a hundred and, and, and almost 200 handles there. I mean, 175, I mean, you know, expect some type of pullback. Went to 900, the number we were calling. Remember, I told you, let's look in that, that 900 on the Dow. Look how it respects those evens on Dow. That's out, Dow, Dow, in that sense, it's easy to follow. Every 100, you can you can kind of know where, where the range is. So see, it's pulling back some. That's great. Where's ES at? Crazy ES. Did he get that? No. 53.25 at least ES. Come on. If you look at 55, 53.25 at least. Now, C1 at 50, but 50 area, 48.50, but that's your next area left behind, at least 53.25, and it don't care. It's Albert. I'm not listening to you today. It's kind of like Todd does every day. Hey, what'd you say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Oh my God! You see what? Oh my God, Lord, Eddie, look what I got to put up with. Eddie, we need Eddie in here, man. Eddie, that's so Nathan says. Eddie, guys, you're you're getting a market that just wants to go. I mean, you know, I mean, you're seeing it. <coughs> and by the way, the 200-day moving average on the ES is 67.50. The resistance area on the way up that we called this morning, if it would held 38, is 67 to 71. Let's keep an eye on the ES here, plus seven and a quarter. Beautiful Dow pullback. I think this Dow should be bought too. Here's your what a 5325, baby. Criminals. 5325. I see, uh, I mean, I see 48. 53, 5325, 4850. Next big one down. You know, so you gotta be careful, but there's your uh did he hit 5325 criminals? Oh my god, barely 5350. Oh my god. Oh, did it hit it? Oh, I think it hit it, man. Did he hit 5325? 5350, did it? Did it hit 25? Okay, I was off by a little bit. This Dow pullback is, I mean, the chart is saying buy the pullback, right? I mean, that's what the idea, right? Yeah. I'm not telling you to buy it, just tell, telling you what the chart is saying on Dow. Look, pull back on the Dow, beautiful. The Dow, it can come to 43 or so, 42 on Dow, but. Definitely 53. It's got a, it's Dow's up for 53. Yeah. There's a big gap here. I'll draw it really quick. I haven't kept up with Dow here in a minute, but <clears throat> little gap here, you see. It's hard to keep up with all the charts. Guys, you got to do this yourself, okay? I'm teaching you. Then it'll be a time that it's going to be nice and clean like this. You ain't going to see nothing. But those gaps, as you've seen these gaps here. Um, Man, let me put this back. Geez, really? All right. I'll repeat that again. You see how Dow's got a gap here? It looks like this, guys. See? With nothing in between here, no candles next to these. So expect that to be the play. Uh, 40s, 40, 41, 42, this area here. Ticked right to it. If you go to 50%. If you're 35, that would be nice to close this entire gap and go the other way. But, you know, dealing with a crazy market. So you got to be careful. You're out of range right now. The uh, sell range, we're way off of that. So we went to 900, like we said. And here you are. So you got to be careful. All right. Looks good, but. Where's creepy ES? I get to my number. There it is. Finally, right? 53251 to 51. Which that's okay. <clears throat> Guys, just because you have a target doesn't mean that the market's gonna hit like Mr. Richie said. 
exactly that target what it does it extends the target people have stops underneath that target i'm not the only one that knows that target okay you know and richie and it's got targets see how one through 57 went a little bit above it it kills everybody that's waiting there with their stops also on the way down people oh i get my stop here i want to enter here well it wants to take you out it don't want you to ride with them you know and 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 really and that's why listen very carefully that's why failed breakout buying failed breakouts or buying failed breakouts or selling failed breakdowns okay are losing trades and listen nothing is 100 percent, okay but all we do here is read the percentages and make sure we are on the right side of the percentages just like the las vegas casinos you're right buddy that's it so we eliminate the losing situations where the percentages are not are not with us yeah i mean is that simple enough you don't need yeah. to read a book man is that simple enough yeah anybody who sold 38 37 got all lathered up and said this is all over they're going through 4700 guess what yeah. didn't happen those who bought 58 and a half didn't happen either so yes Dow has a uh, area 38 all right skipped all through so at 38 you may get hit that area to the tick okay guys so you're getting a pullback now i'm going to put a little mark there at 38. <clears throat> okay at now what we got to look for is the market all right plus 675 plus seven coming down from plus 11 12 wherever the hell it was okay that's what we got to look at now okay because if it comes down to plus four five that literally becomes a support area as far as near-term trading yes and so what I never what, what you got to watch for or anticipate when it gets down to plus four or five okay if it holds well then you're out of the woods but you guys you cannot you know I don't ever buy plus four or five I'd rather buy plus six when I feel like it's weathered the storm yes yes you're right richie there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever some people anticipate the trade and some people want they, they don't want to predict that they want to see evidence of the trade happening like it is now which is the same reason why you add to winners and you add to losers and it's the same reason why you don't bunch together trades when you're trading you don't sell one at 50 short and then sell one at 51 and a half short no you sell one at 50 and you sell two at 55 for instance i'm making up these numbers yes uh, or you and you sell four at 59 okay or you short one at 50 and you short one at 50 at 48 and a half because the market has showed you you've got a, a little bit more of a look into the market so if you short one at 50 okay and you're just sitting there and the market trades down to 48 and you short one at 48 your number is now 49 and then you're in a much better percentage play area than doing it the other way the other way is a losing proposition guys i'm looking at a divergence setting up meaning price is getting higher than uh you guys asked me about uh macd and rsi uh, uh some of the members so i'm seeing a divergence setting up i'm gonna see if i can pull it up here let me see <clears throat> price is getting higher than your uh, MACD and your RSI. Okay, so be careful up here with the longs. Dow's already getting hit. So be careful with your longs up here. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Jeez, was that it? 
Hold on. I'm trying to pull up these. Uh... And we really, we, we really encourage uh, our, our, our folks here. We really encourage you to participate. Okay. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Don't feel no. like you're exposing yourself if you don't understand something. There, there's no egos here. Let me tell you. Okay. So don't be afraid and don't be reluctant to ask questions. Please. For your own good. I'm going to get a Sanka. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to show you really quick here if I can do this. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, oh, man, I did it on the wrong one. Okay, I'll make this bigger. And put it on the one minute to show you what I'm looking at. Guys, look. RSI MACD coming down. Price is trying to make it up here, and these are not responding. Okay? So when that's happening, the market to continue to go up. It has to break through. It has to go. These got to flip up, and it's got to go. It can't be... It can't be doing this what it's doing now. See what I'm saying? It's having problems. Look at your MACD. It's trying to make a higher price. MACD's not going nowhere. That means it's losing strength. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful with this long. Oh, it's going to continue to go up. These got to these gotta start flipping and got to do it like hard. This is the NASDAQ now. Look at the Dow. Yeah, Dow's on a pullback. <clears throat> Dow's on the pullback. You see how crummy is looking? Yeah. Dow's so strong. Oh, Dow, Dow, Dow. Okay. Great. You got your trade. Go to Walmart because this market can easily turn down. Yes, it's holding its own. But if this makes the this makes a high and your RSI and MACD don't make a high, that's a problem. You lose the strength. So that's where you have to start kind of like watching. Let me save this here. So we can have it. So show you the divergences, okay? Now, if it pushes up, you know, make the RSI is looking good. Great. It'll continue. But that's just something for you to watch, okay? Um, a lot of people are asking me about it. So I started, okay, let me show let me show some divergences. So, so you know, you can play the market like that too. And there's a push. You know, we do levels. Hit my level here, 52.25, and going again. Dow setting a little W there. I still don't trust it too much. See, I hit, it's going up. Almost came down to the gap. You see how that, that, that 838? It's a big area down there. So see it now, right? It's pushing up, up, and up. So I'll pull up this again so you can see it. <clears throat> Get your Mr. Dow. You start kind of checking. Ah, McDee's trying to turn up. Look at your RSI already losing strength. If this is going to continue to go up, guys, it it'll break through. It'll go. It's gone. It's gone. It's not gonna. It's not gonna fumble. It's not gonna fumble around and, oh, it's going up or down or you know, it's it's showing me that it's getting weak here. Even though the Dow's up 180, I mean it did great trade, great. Hey, go to Walmart. Nasdaq could make a new high, but these don't make a new high together. It, it's showing you, hey. Maybe not this level, but it's it's losing strength. Maybe for the lunch hour or 11.30 Europe close or something. You just got to be careful. See how it's pushing back down? Didn't make a new high. Just to do this for everybody. People were asking me about, look at that. MACD looks terrible, right? Trying to make a new high, trying to. And this is not even, it's not even crossing over. RSI did a little bit. But that shows you a little bit, look. Then you go to your areas, okay? You go, okay, let me look at my areas, right? Which you, you should be doing, paint them and stuff because you're going to get really good at it that you don't have to have all these up. Look, remember equal highs, equal lows? Look, equal high up here. Remember we're talking about Dow? Uh, Dow being up at 30, 37.9, remember? Yes. It went down. It's trying to come up, trying to, but believe me, if this is going to continue, or if it is, it can still, guys. It's going to break through and keep going to this up here. 50% of yesterday's night session and 50% of the day. It can. It can come up. It might be getting a little tired. 
to this play, you got in home and you had to wait a minute for it to go up. It didn't get to my range on Dow, but let me see ES. ES did very well too. Got to the order block that's pushing up. So it gets to a point to where, yes, it can make a new high. But if your MACD and RSI starts showing you a divergence, you got to be careful. You know, George, look at your order flow. I'll bring this up for the recording. I know you guys can click up here. Start looking for yellow dots. Look, yellow dots coming in. One there. Not any more blue. A couple there on this one to push up. But you start looking at like, hey, these arrows showing up. Yellow coming in. Look at your areas down here. You know, these areas that are dipped down like this on the on this uh, value area on your dome. You know, start getting respected. You see what I'm saying? Like it's not really pushing up. And here it comes, guys. You know. I will be shorting this market. I'm done for the day, but look at the NASDAQ getting killed. Yes, Dow's pretty strong, but you know what I'm saying, guys? It's showing that it doesn't want to continue. So that's where you got to be careful. Start, you know, you can't FOMO like Richie said. You got to trade from that and boom, boom. Hey, go to Walmart, hang it up, and go home. You should be done for the day. Great trades. This happens every day now. We're not perfect. We're not going to have it right every day. But let me tell you, I, I I wouldn't be anywhere else. I'll tell you that, man. I I I've been doing this enough to say, hey, I'd rather hang out with Richie and Mr. Todd. Mr. Eddie's been with us a long time. Um, you know, Orlando's been here a long time. You know, people like that that know that that help us and say, hey, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing that. Later on, you're going to be the hey, Albert. I'm seeing that, and that's how that that's that's what people do, and they get good trades, they get excited. Next thing you know, you're making good money every day. You could be you have your own room one day. Who knows? I mean, I never thought I was going to be here. I never thought getting so sick, getting out of construction, that I was ever going to be even trading. I, I that was far fetched. That I was going to meet a guy that loves the pink color. That 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 was far fetched for me, man. What? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to call Nathan. <laughs> hey, I see a development area downstairs at 49.75 on Dow. 49.50. Let me put a mark there. If this thing don't ratchet up and get going, I'll move it. I'll move this one there. Here we go. We'll go to 50%. You go to the 50 mark. I'll put it at 49.50. There it is. And look at your look look at your order flow down here. You start seeing these areas that are down, not that much volume. Those are gaps. Look, look at it. As soon as I say that, look, remember I showed you RSI and your MACD. If you like, I don't look at that stuff, but it 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 helps you. Look, do whatever it helps you. I don't down people from there's some rooms that oh now you should be looking at that. Look, man. If you're bringing money home, I'm 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 with you 100. percent I'm not gonna tell you what not to look at. What I look at a plain chart, it's fine with me. It took me four years to get to this stage. Not saying that it can take you that. I'm kind of creepy. It took me a minute, but it takes a minute, man. You kind of understand and try to uh, uh, tell or, or suggest to a room, hey, uh, this is what I'm seeing. It takes a minute. You gotta look at the market a minute. It may take a minute to get there, guys, but it's looking like that 40. I put the mark there. Let me check. I'm gonna double check. Forty-nine fifty. Now it's got a couple of hiccups before then. Fifty-one fifty. Fifty. Oops. Fifty. Three, two, five. 
Oh, I can do some sin trades here. Oh, cool. I could do my trades here. So let's put a short here. I don't even know how to do it on this one. Let me get out. Let me get out of my real accounts. Hold on before I do this. Do I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. Let me put everything downstairs on Sam because I'm I'm done for the day. <laughs> if I'm done for the day, I'm gonna put Sam. Okay. Now here I'm gonna let me see if it okay. I put a sell on ES here. Let me do this so you can see the price. You're done for the day? No, I'm not done for you the day. You just said you were done for the day. No, I, I'm trading for the day. Uh, Mr. Nathan's here. He's going to kill me here. Oh, Nick. Kato. 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 Mitchell. Look at the short. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, God. Oh, there you go. Something. No. You're going to break. Hey, there's your short right there. <laughs> All right, puppy. I, I'm in the short. Oh, God. I'm more important. <laughs> and you know that. Oh my God. You know that. People are in the world are thinking you're killing me. You're fine. Okay. Did you see that thing I sent you? No, not yet. I will. It was the random guy thing. Oh God, great. Guys, so see, I put on a short there right away. It's I, I'm thinking I'm thinking here 49 and a half or so, give or take. I'll put in a out at 49 and a half. Let me see if I can do it. There you go. 49 and a half. There you go. So there's your limit sell. I'm going to short to 49 and a half. This is all sim. Okay, guys. Just to kind of show you the trade and what I'm thinking is going to happen but now of course I say that now you got ES and Dow pushing up so it's gonna break it's gonna break that trade for me I'll put a stop at the top 3525 that means it's still at play yeah I put everything on sim because of my luck all right I mean, maybe I could do it down here and not have to. Let me do ES. Where are we? Sim ES. Sim ES. Sim ES. Okay. I think I can do it like this. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, limits. Did it do it? Maybe. No, it's not. All right, let me see now if it's showing. One one twenty eight resistance on the Nasdaq. One twenty eight. I'm still in that short, but like I said, guys, it is on. See you later, Eddie. If you're still there, have a great have a great day. All right, Eddie. You see, folks, we're building a community here. Yes, that's we the bottom are. line. Everybody's helping one another, and that's the bottom line. Yeah, you see on your RSI and uh, MACD making any high here, but hey, it's rolling, it's rolling up now. So now they're both, uh, they're both pushing up. So that trade should be, should be gone, should be done. Okay. <clears throat> Equal high here is 1046. So let's see. You should get a 5325. Let me see if I'm looking at this right. 5325.
and my out is 49 and a half, okay. It wasn't the best entry because you should wait for double tops and then enter. But I'll I'll leave it. So I show you like, hey, that 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 limit that fifty three a uh, forty nine fifty. But you can it can leave it behind. getting a little exhausted up here. Everything's so quiet now. Yes, I got a good push. You put a block, any blocks up here? Let me see, NASDAQ, let me see here. Yeah, and they got a little gap up here. All right, trying to push up, Dow, trying to push up. Let me see Mr. Dow up here. <clears throat> Got a quadruple top up here. Anything on the Dow, uh, uh, Mr. Ray, or no? Mr. Ray, Mr. Top. Mr. Ray. I don't know where that came from. Just call me Ray. You can call me Ray. <laughs> Mr. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> where the heck did I get Mr. Ray from? Wow, that's... <laughs> It's creepy. Wow. Early, <clears throat> early drinking. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not doing anything right now on, on Dow. Yeah, well, I mean that push up, fine. Like you said, you don't have any more trades going on. That's, I, I think that's great. I think that thirty nine, you know, I mean that nine hundred was perfect, and you know. Said that's a hundred, almost two hundred handles. One hundred seventy-five were up. I mean, that's two hundred now. I mean, so after a trade like that, guys, it's you know, go to Walmart. I mean, you know, Nasdaq breaking out of a resistance area. Yeah, we had that ES is negated. That was a. Uh, Flatten that out. That trade was no good. Right to here. 40. 58. Wow. No, I see that 53. Man, I'm still seeing that 53, man. Three fifty and out limit by fifty three fifty. I'll put it in there again. Fifty-one fifty. Oh, fifty-three twenty-five. So let me move it down one notch. 
Yeah. <clears throat> nice and quiet. It's just a trading, you know, now the market's pausing a little bit here. So great trades today and Yes, that looks good. Dow losing a little bit of strength. I mean, uh, yep, yeah, NASDAQ plus. You know, that's the last piece of the puzzle today. We spoke about it a while ago. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're buying it now. They are buying the market now. Getting into this gap. Come on, give me 53.25. Jeez. Criminals. There you go. <laughs> I mean, they're distributing. I mean, their buyers have come in, that's for sure. Because if you look at the dome, you will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars in a row. That's 200. Eight times three is 24. Eight times 3,000 is 24. Uh, <coughs> On balance, that's what's being sold. That's what's being distributed. And now what shows up? Sell side imbalances. Yeah, 53.25, darn it. Then 51.25 and 49.50. Criminals. Let me do 53.25. to wait your Europe exits. Come on, 5325, baby. Push down, geez. <coughs> Take a 
How how are you feeling, Richie? Um, I'm okay. It's just still, it's just unbelievable. Shit doesn't go away. I feel better, but I uh, it's still it doesn't just fade into the sunset. <laughs> Jeez, so quiet up here. go criminals all right here we go did this can go to 49 where i have i have 53 to 5 51 and 49 and a half all those little minus development areas there man it just fills up it's taking forever but Still fighting, baby. Got to pull back to close the little gap that I left on the one minute. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. <clears throat> hey, you close the gaps. Let's see what you want to do. Nice. Still killing it. 
back to my entry. And I'll dump. <coughs> Jeez. Criminal. Oh, this is taking forever, dude. Yeah. That's like it's looking better. Where's that? Down two and a half still. Jeez. Taking forever. Like I said, guys, uh, the trading's were really good. It's like, go to Walmart. God. And this time, 53.25 at least. Jeez. I detect a little criminal activity, all right, propping these things up. You don't see a delta this red for this many bars, okay? When you look at something like this, it doesn't make sense, okay? So you have to look for something, for a reason why. And the reason why to me, all right, is criminal activity cited. Yeah. You're right, Richie. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it keeps pushing up, trying to push down, pushing up. And that's just showing me that it's losing strength, right? Because it's like, let, let me look at this so I can show the room while I see the divergence here, your MACD, lower high in price, higher. You know, it may take a minute, but. It's like Richie said, it's looking like it's trying to go up with just air and it's not. Yes, looks the same too. If you see this, that was NASDAQ. Look at the yes. You see Dow. Dow's, Dow's also. You come from back here, draw a line, and then come from here. And draw your line from the same place. So let's see. It's just taking forever. Europe has to exit. Keeps getting pushed down from this area here. So let's see. Back at the entry. Could have got out a couple of times, but I'm just trying to hit that 5325. Get a Sanka while that's playing out. Jeez, oh my God. Thank God.
I didn't like I didn't like that sound. I didn't like that sound. I was going up. Criminals. I didn't like that. What's your group doing? Oh yeah. Trying to close this gap up here, guys. Big 15-minute gap here from yesterday's drop. I'm doing it right now on ES. All this little stuff got closed on NQ. Jeez. You got some gaps up here. Nice and positive. It'll stumble, but Market found some legs, guys. So 
That 38 downstairs was it, man. I mean, that's a hell of a trade. There you go. Criminal activity. Criminal activity. Yep. Right there in the flesh. Yeah. Do we get caught short? No. No. Yeah, I mean, that did not hit any targets after it took off. Richie didn't hit anything. Anything downstairs, it just took off. Yeah, right. Against against what everything I'm looking at, that's for yeah. sure. So there you go. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, didn't cost me any money. Didn't cost people, didn't cost our subscribers any money. You know, yeah. I have a plan all the time. Sometimes you got to move away. But the point is that we identified the criminal activity, not to get caught in that. I mean, you made a small short bet, but you didn't, you didn't risk real money. Look at this. <laughs> the lunatics. Yeah. You know, the, call, the call was if 38 held, you're talking 67 to 71. Definitely, that's crazy. No, you're at the regular session, 50% from yesterday. I'm taking everything back. That it's okay. good. Crazy. They'll catch him. They will catch him again. <clears throat> yeah. That 38, Richie, that's crazy. Buddy, that was a call you told me that last night, man. You're freaking crazy. Wow. All right, now they lost their minds completely. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. They're, they're you know, that 38, man, that was it. For a minute. The other tip off to criminal activity was the fact that there are no big contracts for the most part the whole day in the marketplace. All big contracts. So that meant to me that I've been watching, okay? That meant to me that the likelihood of criminals getting involved if they wanted to was higher, period. Because when the criminals know there's no big contracts, that means they don't have to spend a real lot of money to control the market. I got it. I see they pushed that out, buddy. Look at this. They are pushing this to Europe exits, man. Criminals. Very positive. Very positive, man. Crazy. 
But meanwhile, let's watch. 60, 66.50 is the high as of right now. Okay, not 67 yet. Okay, the 67 was the area of resistance. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, man. That's a big push up, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. Big push, man. I'm here, but I have Trade Zero, head of social uh, uh, social media manager, asking me a couple of questions. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, buddy. Gee, that was a big push, bro. Uh, was crazy. I didn't expect that one, man, from the no. market being so bad. But, hey, they took it back. Yeah. Where did the Dow end up at? Did you just pull that 38? Yeah, man. man, Dow went to, like, 75. Yeah, close that gap, 15-minute gap from yesterday. From the sell-off, man, and took it back. That 38, man, and freaking ES was it. Still going. Still going, baby. Jeez. Look at the buy zone on the Dow, bro. That you gave earlier. Yep. 200 handles ago.
and make a video on that. Yeah, it's still going. Don't care. I'm thinking Europe's propping it up till they leave, and they're going to sink it. It's pretty strong, man. I know. I know. That's that's crazy. I mean, the market did a tour big time, man. Down pre-market, boom, all the way back. That's crazy. I mean, that's that's pretty freaking crazy. For, uh, for what was happening. So, so all right. It's gone. Gone. Waiting to see what Europe does. Then we go from there, man. That's a big, long, big, long trade right there, man. It did not respect anything that we're looking at. That's the way it goes sometimes, right? Waiting for Europe. Now it'll continue. You see it, man. <clears throat>
time as they long time. So I'm creating a big M pattern up here too at the, you know, equal highs. It's going to make here. So let's see, brother. And that that was a crazy, crazy, crazy push. I know. Crazy. There you go, Europe exit and pattern double top. Right at eleven thirty here, and let's see what happens, man. Hopefully, get the two hundred EMA on the Nasdaq near twenty. By the time an hour from now, it'll be at thirty, maybe, and hopefully, a push on to them to continue to go up. But. I'd be wishful thinking. Let me push down now. Here we go. Exit 11:30 and pattern. Let's see where this ends up at, guys, and we'll go from there, man. Tell me that's not criminal activity. Or rich. <laughs> How about that? They just sucked in some more people, yeah. causing people money. Yeah. Right back down, brother. That's that's man. You can't you can't trust this market. I tell you, Albert, Todd, they're on yes. it. They they are on it. They are on it. The whole marketing and PR team. They are on it. Let me tell you. I that's awesome. Wait. I can't wait, Richie. They're on it. That's cool, man. Guys, if you see this short, it took a minute, okay? I know Europe just pushed it up and up and up and up. You have to see what the market get, you know, gives you. Sometimes it stops you out and keeps going. Fine. Not a problem. But, um, you know, it's sure the market gives you. Look at this push down. This is crazy. That's a heck of a push down. Look at that M pattern. Yeah, take take a look at the clip I just sent you guys. You don't oh. have to look at it now. Wait, wait till after we're done. Okay. 
but it, it was it was part of the live interview a couple of weeks ago. I don't even know what it was. Okay, great. But the person didn't know what October 11th, excuse me, October 19th. Um, they didn't know anything about that. That's okay. whole marketing team fellas that's crazy richie that's awesome dude whole marketing team man yeah and a whole compliance team man awesome crazy and a whole and a whole lawyer lawyer team, lawyer team guys okay you know what that costs wow i, I could just imagine more than a trip to walmart richie that's yeah. for sure. You'd have to shop in Walmart for, for 10 freaking years to, for the money you save to pay for, for that infrastructure. I know, uh, crazy. That's why you shouldn't worry, Todd. We don't have to have this conversation now, but that's why you shouldn't worry. Okay. You know? because they're gonna jump through hoops the minute they're, they're gonna do the work for us. Oh yeah, definitely. That clip that I sent you, they are absolutely freaked out over. Wow, really, man, I can't wait to see it. I know, man. <laughs> 30 minutes. Did you answer Martin's question, by the way? Let me see. Oh, Martin, I see you. Hold on. How do you explain the important push? Technical reasons, strong European indices. Uh, Richie, you want to answer that? How do you explain the push here in the market? Um, uh, uh, it, criminal, it, criminal activity, two words. Yeah. You know, I said about a half hour or 40 minutes, but I don't know when I identified it. But when yes. I saw the indicators that I look at constantly and identified, Martin, you've been on, and identified the amount that the delta of seven, eight, nine, ten bars in a row, all negative delta, negative delta, negative delta, negative delta. Okay, that means 240,000 ticks, eight or nine bars, 3,000 per, per bar. Okay, they sold on balance every damn bar. Okay, so if they sold on balance every damn bar, why would they, why would they take the market up? Who would, who's taking the market up? It's not the public. It's criminal activity. Nothing else to say. You're not going to read that in a book, man. Now, Martin, with that said, Richie's level was 38 last night. So that's also, you know, we got some levels. You've worked with him before, so you know how technical he is. That 38, it was beautiful. And the market skyrocketed from there. So... And and by the way, don't think you don't get help from the criminal act from criminal activity when they realize that, if they want to. There's a perfect setup because of uh, lighter volume and fewer players, and the size of orders. There was no big blocks around to buy or for sale. And it just gives them more leeway to do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Walmart <laughs> is, is one of the only retail stocks that's down on the day. Take that, Walmart. That's because Albert didn't go yet. <laughs> yeah, go, wait a minute. That's right. here's, a, here's a good one. That's going to be before we close. When Albert announces he's going to Walmart, okay, before we close, you folks can all get long Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. I know, right? Oh, Mr. Flushy. It should get to uh, 5975 here, ES. Let's keep an eye on uh, let's keep an eye on uh, ten year note, okay? Three ninety eight spot two. Four over four percent will be a psychological area that they will not like. Who are the criminals? Oh, Martin, come on. Who are the criminals? The criminals are fictitious people who are in the game to rig the market. That's who the criminals are. I mean, it could be various. They could be various type criminals. They could be, they could be on the Federal Reserve trading desk. They could be friends of the government. It could be in a lot of a lot of them, but one thing is for sure: whoever they are, they exist. So that's who the criminals are, and that's how you have to think. And then please excuse me, folks. My new my New York. Uh, uh, my New York um, uh, uh, way to uh, describe what I see happening. So in the future, Martin, in the future, whenever we use whoever it is, the word criminal activity, it means that the technicals and everything else that we're looking at doesn't line up with the way the market is acting. Could be down as well, not only up, but it's mostly always, always up. So what do the criminals try to do? Let's just keep talking about this a little bit. What are the criminals try to, what are they, what are they, what do they look to achieve? In a light trading day, similar to today, we have a small order flow, no big institutions in the market. They try to create volatility, prevent the market, in this case, from going down. And then they want to suck in the retail investors, the inexperienced traders, to using a, a, and, to, um, and to put their money up and to trap their money up usually at high levels just like they did up at the 66 65 66 67 area that market that those they just sucked in and trapped some really innocent investors we in the other on the, in, the, in, the, in the other event and then <laughs> we on the other side of the coin prevent our subscribers to not get sucked in to that kind of scenario. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is worth a real lot of money. There's 59.75 just got hit. <laughs> Or else is there in the order here? So the criminals achieve their goal. 
see? And they burned a lot of people. They don't care about that. Their bet was to, to do exactly what they did and to drag in more serious money. They have an endless size account. Endless. Almost as big as Albert's, Richie. Well, I, well let's not go that far. Well, I, I'm sorry. That was. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> I got caught up in the moment, I guess. Yeah. I mean, Albert manages the Bank of Puerto Rico's money. That's right. Sometimes there. <laughs> he manages the the sugar cane fortune. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my dad. I, I mean, my my uncle was the founder and and president, CEO of of Econo, uh, in Puerto Rico, major grocery store, sixty stores, Richie. Oh wow. Nice. He passed away about ten years ago at ninety five. My 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 dad's brother. Wow. So before I traded, I went down there, was doing the construction for him for a minute, and he passed away on me, man. It was sad. Wow. And my crazy cousins are fighting for all kinds of money now. It's crazy. So if you're Puerto Rico, you know what Econo, Econo is. Uh, he wanted to bring it here to Florida, but. I bet you he worked uh, for uh, as long. Uh, how? When did he re did he ever retire? No, he stopped when his wife got sick. I have at around ninety years old. He stopped. Wow. Because he needed to stay home with her, and yeah. he had a couple of nurses. So he called on to me and, and my mom. Went down there and took care of him per se and her. It was really for her. And um, and uh, he had like three nurses inside of his house and. He wanted uh, started a company uh, to uh, <clears throat> to do all the uh, contracting and things, building for his 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 uh, grocery store. So we started that down there, and then he wanted to buy here some land here, started here, but he he started on that project way too late in his life, and um, he he passed away, but he was healthy. He just it was his time. Wow. Well. It was his time, so that happens. I got a great story about Puerto Rico, which I will share with you guys. Certainly not over the airwaves. Yes. That's a great push down again on the market. Look, it's melting. So the technicals we put out there this morning, last night, whatever, 38. Okay. We said this morning, and, and it is being recorded, and you will know, we want, we, we will stand behind what we're saying, right, wrong, or indifferent. Okay. Right, wrong, or indifferent. We're not afraid, folks. So 38, where could it go this morning? I said, where do you, if it holds 38, it could go to 67 or seven to seven, 67 to 71 range. I mean, you don't get better than that, man. Yeah, man. And you want to know how important, again, these technicals are? The criminals know where these technicals are. The algorithms know where these technicals are. They almost substantiate 
our market calls. How about that? Yep, absolutely. I mean, you know, I mean, also the facts. You know, this is no Monday morning quarterback in here. We don't Monday morning quarterback. Why? Well, we wouldn't even tape it if we did. You could say anything like these fools that they march in and out of CNBC all day. Oh, well, I think. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, right. Okay, great. That's what you think. I'm going the opposite way. Yeah. You know, so I want none of that. I never had it. Never wanted it. Never would do it under any circumstances. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We're wrong. We're wrong. Albert's wrong. He's by himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was nice. That was beautiful, man. And market taking it back. I'm telling you, criminals, man. And it just pisses me off because of what they do to the average investor. Forget it. It just costs people a lot of money, man. <coughs> it's very, very aggravating. I mean, Todd, look at the look at that bar. Look at those bars across the bottom. Look at that delta. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, look, look at what they just did to people. And to their P and Ls, and to their bank accounts, and to their IRAs, people who, uh, you know, struggling to make two a hundred dollars a day and augment their income. And what do they do? They they just leave them flat. All those people, all those investors. Above 65, 63, 64, 65. And that wasn't enough, you see. Then they wanted, then they goosed it right up to the technical area. That's what they did. And they sucked the last ounce of money out of average people and their bank accounts. Freaking criminals. And now they're ripping that's, it why down. They, that's why they're criminals. Yeah. Uh, I'll and be right, right back, back now, man. I got to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Yeah, Europe exits the market, and here we are right back now. What the? You got support in NASDAQ here at 37 on a lower channel, Keltner channel. Yeah, well, that 200 EMA move about an hour ago. It's usually that 200 EMA, man. It's getting a bounce here. But you know, market is the market, Richie, now, man. I mean, they could sell this thing right back to the bottom. Without a doubt. They could go right back to the lower level and break it and then puke. Hell, yeah. Yeah. Close that. Well, let, let me just say something very profound here. Close that. Okay? That's why you can't rig markets. And you need to follow people or listen to people or figure it out on your own when they're trying to do that. You cannot rig markets. Yeah. Get right back down. Still right now, killing everybody. Because you got to know the times, guys. You got to know news. You got to know times where the market wants to move, right? So, give you the Europe close right there, eleven thirty. If you didn't know that, you're trying to buy the market up. You're going to get killed. You got to be careful. End pattern beautiful breaks the leg, comes right back down. Look at it, it's melting now. Like it's just like it was doing before. So if you don't know that, you're wondering, well, why is it dropping here? Well, it, it's the way the market is set, like Richie said. <laughs> but you're criminals. Look, what would the market? What was so good before for the market to hold and keep going? Right? Look, they're just taking people out. Just keep an eye on the ES contract now. Right back now. It's getting, it's getting the ES contract is getting into the four to five plus area, all right? Getting worse. 
So this four to five area, plus four to five on the ES, is now is a support area the way I look at it. So. You're not going to get that anywhere. You're not going to read it anywhere. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Still got areas at 4950. I mean, all those areas that I painted before, I took them off my chart, but they're still they're still valid. I mean, it's like it's crazy. Getting a bounce here because it's way over full now. It killed everybody, but. Hey, we got the upside to the market. Hey, go go to Walmart. Right back down close to these gaps downstairs. Crazy. And by the way, the 200-day moving average on the ES. It's 67, okay? We pointed that out a long time ago. That's exactly almost to the tick, two ticks away from the top of the day, which is also, which was also the top Keltner. Boy, that was a major short. Now that I look at it, that was the top Keltner resistance area, and it's the top of a premium area as well, a premium zone. That's crazy. Yeah, take a look at that trading view chart if you see what I'm talking about. I missed it. That was a close your eyes short. Yeah, because we're kind of ending and we're all, you know, yeah. all in the group. Look, you got your trades on the day. I, you know, not looking at it too, too, uh, too crazy, but definitely that Europe exit. You know that that's that's a big. Game changer, double top, 11 o'clock, we're talking about it, and there it goes. Set up the M pattern beautifully. I mean, it, it can't get set up more than that, like better than that. Right back down to that. This is crazy. Terrible. I mean, it's going to sell off completely. I don't know, but geez, man, that was, that was crazy. I'll be right back. Okay, buddy. That was crazy, guys, right there, that move. All right, I'm All right, back. You back? I'm back. Okay, great. What a crazy morning that was, huh? Yeah, buddy. That's that goes to show you right there. That's criminal all the way. Just criminal the money, money to manipulate. Yeah, if you're chasing it, you're dead right now. I mean, that's why I'm like, you know what? I don't once you're done, man, you're done and go home and do whatever because dude, it, it's that's just the way it is. There's no, no, not really an answer. I mean, Richie's saying why these guys do whatever they do. I mean, uh, you know, they want you out of the market. They're going to do whatever it takes to get you out. Yep. Right down to 50% again. Yeah, I mean, they, they hurt people on both sides of this. Yeah, look at the example that I was going to, okay. On ES. Yep, I'm looking at your screen. Okay, I'm going to go. Let me make a fib for the day, day session because I haven't done that yet. Uh, 1130. Uh, let me do this first. Let me put a line here first at 930 open. Because then it's going to make a little bit of more sense. Yeah, 930 is green. Okay. So we'll put a fib from bottom to top. Bottom to top. Right. 50%. We're going to mark this right. Hey, while you're doing that, let me ask you a real quick question. Go ahead. Can you change, can you change your lines to make them thicker? Like on your fib, I can barely see on my end. They're very, very small. They might mess you up. I don't know. No. 
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah. Fifty percent. Let's say you're down. You're at the you know market's dropping. You don't know where it's going to go to, right? It's dropping, no. dropping. And we said thirty-eight. Okay, so you mark fifty percent. Uh, that is seventy handles down, give or take, right? Well, yep. the market starts to consolidate. Thirty-eight. This is Nasdaq, but you know, ES same same thing. I could do ES over here. Starts to consolidate, right? 38, one down to 38. But just this area here, general area, let's say you put three here. Three, let me do 50 here. Hold on, because I haven't done ES either. Uh, and you don't got to see the fib. It's just, uh, I'm going to mark the, just a line. I don't really. I'll go here, because that's kind of like where it's at. Let me do this. I mean, do this, right? Right here is this 50? Yeah. This is regular session, right? All right, now I'll go like this, take this out. Okay. It's got to be ETH wide. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Hold on, buddy. I just remember this one. Okay. Here's 50 for the extended for the night session here. Okay. And 50 for the day. You know? Fifty for fifty for the night. You already knew what that was, pretty much. It went back up to fifty here. So this, 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 this here, right? You know, it, it's it's extended. You know what the high was, so it comes back down and makes it low. You put a line here before this even appeared. You should have a a range, right? It's about. Nine, ten handles on ES. Okay. So 38 was our lower any anywhere down here, man. Uh is this right? Hold on. Hold on, Todd. Yeah, RTH. Okay. Anywhere down here. You already knew. Okay, 10 and 10 is 50. Cool. Right in the middle. It went down 10 also. So you're right in the middle. You knew that this morning. Uh, we marked it. Whatever is here. Yep. Yep. Anywhere where the prior days are about the same, top 20, to give or take, you start, you know, you, you got to know the ranges from the prior prior day, okay? You get 10 or 10, 15 off the 50, you know, down. It's going down 10 or 15 off the 50. Dude, it's going to come back and come to the middle area. I mean, right. it does that. NASDAQ, I know the NASDAQ a little more. NASDAQ's usually about 100, you know? So I know Nasdaq a little more. Yes, you have to know about Nasdaq is about a hundred. Look, a hundred and nineteen, bro. Let's just say you do a hundred off that yeah. middle. You know what? I'm gonna put a trade here. You got a hundred about. Let's say you got eighty, and you got eighty, a hundred on the way up. That's not too bad, huh? No, I'm telling you, <laughs> it works. Well. Nasdaq's about a hundred range. If you go from top to bottom or from center, it's two hundred range, right? It it. Dude, it works all. I mean, let me see the range here. From very top night session. Hundred and forty-four. So from middle. Hundred and four. Right? Is that right? Let me see. Make sure I'm like doing this right, bro. 71. Okay, 71. You, yeah. You're that far from the middle, man. You, you, you're you're going to, and you're on Richie's, one of Richie's levels, let's say 50. Uh, I could pop at 50. Look, man, it's freaking tanking again, Todd. These people are trying to take people out. Tanking yeah. again, bro. Anyways, you know you're going to get a spring either up. If it's coming up to 50 and you make a fib and you say, man, that was 70 handles. 
you're probably 70 handles on the upside. Let's say you wait, you're going to get a return back to zero because you already know for the night session what it ran 100. NASDAQ again, you know, 70 and 70, 140, let's say, give or take, 17, I think it's at 177 and 147 or whatever. It, it's about it's about good. And look, RTH and, e, and, and ETH are both, and NASDAQ at least right in the same freaking spot. Yeah. Market's even again. Now, I know the NASDAQ a little more. NASDAQ usually 100 the range, you know? Yeah, so, it runs more. Yeah. Yeah. But ES could be 20, 15 to 20, obviously. 15 to 20 in the upside or downside, you're probably going to get a, 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 a to, to the dation to the middle. It just doesn't. Now, if it's selling off, selling off, selling, you know, you go one of those days that, you know, freaking ES is down 100, 40, 50 handle. That's a different animal, man. Right. Yeah, it's not an everyday thing. Yeah, that's not a range. That's that's a that, that's a, 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 a trend. You know, it's going trending. That's a different animal. But a day that's within range, it usually respects those that fifty percent from their fifteen to twenty on ES. Nasdaq is about a hundred, so it's so hundred and fifty. Let's say so seventy, eighty, definitely a hundred. If you get a hundred point drop from that fifty, it's probably going to spring back up at some point to continue the downside or whatever. Usually, man, you put a couple of micros on them, forget about it. It will, it will come back, man. I mean, you know, you put your stop, you protect yourself. Let's say for ES, you do it and you're in your 30s. You got in Richie's level. He gave you that level last night. All right, we'll put it down a bit. You know, you're micros. Put it down halfway in this level, maybe. If it stops you out, so what? You're down 100 bucks. Big deal. But if it runs, right. it's over, man. Right. It's going to go for a minute because they're buying – Big money's buying this level down here, man. At least to run, you know, to get Europe out of the way. They all bought it, Europe bought it, and then sold it here. Down the 50% again, down the flat. You're probably going to get another push to the top. I mean, big money bought that 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 38. Big criminals bought that 38, man. I don't think it's going to sell off just like that, dude. I think I think that's a sell off for Europe lunch 200 ema play again and it it to 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 push up again i'm i may be mistaken but darn it man that was a heck of a push for a market yeah. that was dead but you know we're done i mean you know we're done man we did the dow i mean that dow play was freaking incredible this morning those little es trades that i was showing their group to the tick so then after a while you know i don't you know, it, it's, it, it gets a little tough because you don't want to lose money. You don't want people to lose money, you know? No, and that's the thing is, is, is you know, people have to have realistic goals when they're starting out, you know, that, you know, they make X amount of dollars. Don't don't say, well, I want to start out with a thousand a day and then you kill your account every day. You know, you got to be realistic on what you're doing and, and just yeah. learn screen time. Just don't listen and learn and simulator and that kind of stuff until you're ready. Yeah, man. But, you know, to go to forty-eight fifty here. And that's the thing too is having three markets we're watching to me gives you a, a stronger opportunity to get into trades. Give me just a second. Yeah. Here we had an even again, pretty much. That was beautiful. That was a strong one today. It took a big hit, that 11.30 exit. You saw Stutter, got the high there. Stutter, down, boom, made an M, and here we go on the way down. Just like that. Forty nine fifty ES, 49.25, 49.50. Close that gap downstairs from the push. Push at 10 o'clock. Crazy. Lost everything again. That's what you got to be careful. It's crazy market, man. I know. And now, now, so you're back at, now you're back at 50% again. Yeah. I mean, it lost everything again. 
we're back to zero. Yeah. He has us up four, Nasdaq's minus. I mean, it's crazy. But it's 1207, Todd. So, hey, guys, we're pretty much done for today. Thank you for being here. We'll catch you tomorrow again. Let me stop the recording here. Yeah, we appreciate you guys coming in. And, and once again, ask all the questions you want. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's how you learn.